Hi, Mark here from the Tangibound Podcast Network and host of the flagship show, The Tangibound Podcast. Did you know that we over at Tangibound are always looking for amazing podcasts to promote? And did you also know that we are also proud nerds and geeks of everything from movies, music, gaming, TV shows, and comic books to wrestling, MMA, soccer, and football? Whatever you can nerd or geek out about, we've got it. And if you're interested, we can help you find it. And if you're a show looking for a place to call home, we've got you covered. Side effects may include upset stomach, dizziness, tumors, shakes, and in some rare cases, death from excessive laughter. Though to be fair, it's only sometimes. Other side effects may include diarrhea, gallstones, heart palpitations, and strong desire for cookies on the dark side. Talk to your doctor and visit TangiboundNetwork.com and see if Tangibound Network is right for you. This is a Danger Entertainment Podcast. DangerEntertainment.net Danger Entertainment Podcast Network Welcome to the podcast from Temperance Town the sexiest podcast of world renowned. Tony grows a beard to hide his chin, swabs it with Earl, so it glistens. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. Download the pod, you won't get enough of these dapper chaps talking deadly fluff. In Hobo Gulch, they run a homeless mission, clanging and banging with the pentagram of kittens. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. They enjoy their whiskey and local craft beer. By Odin's on Cubis, we give a cheer. Tony's a raccoon when he's booziest. Don't be a savage, be an enthusiast. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. On the frozen tundra, they call it a lock. Tony likes to masturbate in a sock. Brian pisses rocks cause it feels so great I still don't know who the fuck is Tate Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier The boys will let you know when there's a Due to male pattern baldness They don't wear curlers Stay salty people, that's their closing line And don't forget Have a beer, you'll be fine Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier Salty Hey, enthusiasts, what's happening? This is Salty Language, episode 372. Oh, shit, son. Sexiest podcast on the network, Mm -hmm. even on a hump day. (laughs) Especially on a hump day. Fuck yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's a little odd, Brian, that we're recording on a Wednesday. Yeah, tis. Mm -hmm. Tis, Mm -hmm. tis. Yep. What's funny is... uh, yeah, you know, we already set to like, yeah, we'll just do this on Wednesday. Cause you're like, Hey, can you do it on Thursday? I was like, ah, I'm busy Thursday. Right. Well, my Thursday plans got moved. So I would have been fine, but that's all right. You know, I work Friday morning, so it's probably yeah. better doing it today. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. I didn't care either way. It was, you know, I just wanted to, you know, bro, just, we'll always make this shit. Funny. Oh, I know we have so far. All <laughs> right. We always figure something out. I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Right into Untapped, I'm going to have some podcast drink. Oh, boy. Well, I got a couple nice uh, nice sequences. Oh, right. Low, right. low ABV, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. very refreshing. Yeah. Better be. Nothing, nothing crazy. I do have some of that new Founders beer. Which one? Uh, Curmudgeon's Better oh, Off. Oh, dude, yeah. It's pretty good. It's yeah, pretty good. I bet it is. I bet it is. It's very boozy, though, I'll be honest. Oh, really? Hmm. It's like you're sipping a, you know, like whiskey or something. Why are we talking about that? People can't enjoy it with us. Maybe they can. 
You don't think of it. They, they hear you talking about it. They stop the, the podcast real quick, go get themselves drinks, come back. And then it's like playing the home version of Salty Language. Just Accurate. without the sexiness. Exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unless you buy the, you know, recently released Brian and Tony masks. You know how creepy that would be? Or yeah, sex amazing. dolls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. You said sex masks? No. I, <laughs> oh. You combined the two. I said sex dolls. I said oh. masks the first time, but yeah. <laughs> sex masks. No. <laughs> yeah, right? The and Brian wow. and Tony sex mask. <laughs> Please don't use our names together when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how we're branding it, right? Yeah, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Ooh, I'm, I'm just saying. Crush my mic. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> the hell just pulled on my arm here? Jesus. <laughs> Probably a ghost. <laughs> the worst ghost ever just yeah. fucks hair. What yeah. a shit ghost. Yeah. You know, like, you know, when, quickly I'd have a medium over here trying to exercise that fuck. Right? <laughs> what would be funny is at some point you, <laughs> you get up and you come downstairs, you're just like half bare because you've been picked so much by the ghost. <laughs> exactly. I look like a grizzly of mange. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell happened to you? <laughs> oh, man. That'd be terrible. Super terrible. You're right. That would be a really, really awful ghost if that that was how they got revenge or whatever. You know? Yeah, just one little hair at a time. Mm-hmm. Like, like they get nose hairs and stuff that really hurts. Oh, man. You're not kidding. Yeah. Those are the worst. They are the worst. They are the worst. Yeah. Oh, so here's something funny. So last night, you know, I'm, I'm cutting my hair, trimming the beard, you know, all that. And so I get out the... <clears throat> the nose trimmer attachment for my beard and mustache trimmer thing, put it on no more and start like get one side done fucking dies before I can do both oh, sides. No. And I'm like, Oh man. So I had to, you know, like a savage, get out a pair of scissors and or I'm sorry, oh, get a scissors out. <laughs> I would have plugged that fuck in and just looked like a werewolf mid transformation <laughs> for a day. Oh man. So yeah, I was, I was like, damn it, because the thing's getting old, so it doesn't, the charges don't hold for very long on it, so I, I forget about that, and it's like, the day before I'm going to use it, I I should charge it just to make sure it's got juice. Right, right. Yeah. Jauce. Yeah. That is a bummer. Yeah. At least I didn't have anywhere to go or something, you know, you're like half woolly on one side of your nose, and the other side's nice and... Nice and trimmed. Yeah, like fresh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, the wind's whistling through it. You can smell everything <laughs> like a bloodhound. Right, right. The other side looks like a, you know, just an unkempt yard. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's an old tricycle upside down in it. Like I snorted a tribble. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Rusted out car on blocks. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's terrible. It's a bad scene. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, you know, again, it could be worse. I remember... Um, the one time when my clippers died, um, when I was cutting my hair and I was halfway done. <laughs> 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 Luckily, I had a pair of backup clippers. <laughs> Ryan, so. you know what's amazing? Hmm. Razors never die. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, you know, that's funny to me in two ways. Because razor remote? Yeah. Even yeah. though it's, you know, bad guys are forever. But, um, that, that is, uh, that's like the, you know, every cowboy has a soft side song is mm-hmm. Razors Never Die. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's true. But luckily I was... Because every cowboy has a dead dead. And it's like, it's all the songs that like Neil's jamming out to. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Damn, shots fired, Neil. Hey, every rose has a thorn, man. I guess. <laughs> That's what... What's his face keeps telling us anyway? Who, Vince Neil? No. Because he is. No, Brett <laughs> no, Michaels. No, Vince Neil's not like Cruz. Yeah, I was like, dude, it's Brett Michaels. Yeah. Whatever. They both have teased hair. Yeah, but. Um, it's yeah. okay. Right. At least okay, Vince, Vince. At least Vince Neil kept his hair, though. You know, so. True. Brett That's Michaels a got, before, man. Yeah, I was going to say Brett Michaels has got whatever's going on underneath that yeah. that bandana, you know. Exactly. I'm pretty sure it's the Hulk Hogan ring of fire here, dude. <laughs> oh, man. It might be. Yeah. It might be. It would be terrible. It was terrible for Hogan. 
You know, I just, I just cannot fathom how anyone thought that Hogan, like having a completely bald head or upper head, and then this, like that yellow curtain of hair, right, was badass. It's so weird, you know. Like now yeah. you'd be like, shave that shit off, dude. <laughs> like, what are you like, doing? Like, bro, mm-hmm. what are you doing? Mm-hmm. But he's still, you know. Your Still. Hulkamania bandana with that Barbie hair coming out of it <laughs> looks ridiculous. Yeah, it does too. I mean, I'd never yeah. say it to his face, but you know. What is that? Your golden locks or fettuccine noodles? <laughs> it can be both. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. You can see him gnawing on his own hair. Like, what is. Do pasta me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it all comes back. Full circle, man. Oh, man. I was going to say, you just see him with like a cup of marinara and he's <laughs> dipping his hair in it. <laughs> What's going on? Or not marinara. Um, um, Alfredo. That's what I meant to say. Ah. Oh, boy. Boy. Yeah. It, it does blow my mind at different times when I watch like old wrestling, what was considered like, you know, manly. Or just the fact that every time I see Dusty Rhodes dancing around it, I'm like, how, how did he at any point put on those little trunks and go, this is what I want to show everybody, you know, like showing all that, you know, rippling, um, pudding. Girth. Yeah. I was like, geez, I'm crow. It's like, I, like I, if I were a wrestler, man, I'd have a shirt on. I'd probably have a sweater over it. I'd have pants with another set of pants over them just to make sure that it, I'm covered up. Pants and wrestling pants. Right. Meanwhile, yeah. Here comes the American dream <laughs> in his goddamn Hanes. <laughs> <laughs> his black and, uh, or his, uh, yellow polka dotted Hanes. Yeah, exactly. Just shaking what his mama gave him. And then some. <laughs> and the baker and the pizza guy and the ice cream man. More power to him, though. I mean, it, it, it takes a lot of balls to go out there in front of people and, you know, be a body guy like him, you know? <laughs> right. Yep. Yeah, truth. <laughs> truth. It's so funny, you know, because you'll see wrestlers, like, a lot of them now are just ripped, you know, because they're right. all doing, like, CrossFit and shit, you know? Um, but you go back to the eighties and look at the tapes and it's like me out there wrestling. You know? <laughs> All no, those guys with the barrel wrestling. chests. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, it's like, you know, it's like vintage strong men when it just looked like dad bod. <laughs> yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. Like what? Mm-hmm. That was manly as hell though. Apparently. Yeah. So he's a strapping lad. Mm-hmm. Is he? <laughs> Looks like he just aced a six pack of, you know, fucking Miller and then did it, rode his John Deere around the yard for 45 minutes. Oh, that's how he gets to the ring. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, picture the Undertaker when he was doing the biker thing, but, you know, with a tractor instead. Right. Mm-hmm. Accurate. Yep. That's what is happening now, probably. <sighs> no, dude. He's actually about to wrestle again. What? Yeah. With what? D- they're With a doing retirement package. <laughs> they're doing a whole big um pay per view in Australia, and just like the one they did in Saudi Arabia, the well, the prince of Saudi Arabia wanted the Undertaker to wrestle. So you know, when a prince like that says it, or, or whatever he is, maybe not a prince. I don't know what the fuck it's called. Um, yeah. but anyway, in Australia, you know, Undertaker dr- still draws, but it's like, it's like. Eh. Yeah, I mean, he looked good in the ring the last couple times, but it's because they took care of him. But, you know, I mean, he's he's wrestling Triple H for the last time, apparently. Sure. And everyone's going, God, please. You know, <laughs> like, it's so funny because, like, you look at him, there's not that much difference in age. I mean, Undertaker's older, but, you know, it's like he looks way older than Triple H does because, you know, Triple H is jacked still, you know. He's got that WWE extra bonus monies. Yeah. It's like it, at any time you could believe that Triple H could, like, tear that suit off and still get in the ring and wrestle, you know. Right. I've seen Undertaker in plain clothes, and it's just like, I don't know, man. He he looks like that guy that used to be a really bad biker, like badass biker, that's now the guy, you know, collecting teddy bears. You know, yeah, exactly. For kids. Yeah, so I don't know. Like he's now the uh, 
He's like the treasurer for his biker chapter now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Like, ah, I remember back in my day, I used to whoop guys' asses with these chains. And right. Now I'm just counting rolls of quarters. <laughs> He's a member of Grandpappy's of Anarchy, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, man. I mean, I, 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 uh, I get that he's still a draw, mm-hmm. but I mean, how old is he? Really? He's 50 something. Yeah, he should be, I don't know, like wrestling the coupons out of Sunday morning paper. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I don't know, whatever, I guess. I know. It's, it, that's, it's so tough, though, you know, because you still um, you still hear the, the bell chime, you know, the bong, and, you, and your skin just still, like, crawls, you know, or comes alive because you're like, you know, it's just, it still gets you. But then right. you see him and you're like, oh. <laughs> like, oh, God, that's right. He's oh. a grandfather. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, now, if they could somehow, like, pass the torch, like Dread Pirate Roberts, right? It, you know, if they could figure something out like that, then okay, whatever. Yeah. But I don't, I just, I don't know. Yeah, clearly he's, you know, <laughs> Triple H is not the, you know, the uh, up-and-comer, you know? <laughs> he's, well, yeah, for sure. He's, well, I would say on the downside of his career, but who the hell knows anymore? I mean, he, he wrestles like once or twice a year, and like I said... He's such a workout warrior. He's going to be like Vince McMahon at 70. You know, he's still going to be just dripped, you know. Right. So, uh, you know, I mean, seriously, Vince McMahon for a long time there, you know, when he would come out to wrestle or whatever, you're just like, dude, you're way too old to look like that. <laughs> Like, what is going on here? Well, you know, when you're mainlining silverback testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> and who doesn't these days? Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, yep, yep, yep. So, crazy. Yeah. So that's happening. Yeah. There's that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And, and there you go. Mm hmm. And, you know, they had a whole Shawn Michaels thing kind of tied in. I got a feeling he's going to end up as a special guest referee. And, uh, you know, I don't know what will happen, but, you know, because why not? You know, he's still uh, yeah, a draw, I- too, you know? Yeah, why not? Why I mean, not? Don't get me wrong. It's cool. You know, they're doing a big thing in Australia. They want to try to give them, you know, all all the things, which is awesome, you know, because they don't get the, you know, pay-per-views like we do or whatever here. So it's, you know, they're all right. they're all mostly here, Canada or um, uh, England. When, you know. what, what's the name of the pay Is it like Koala Jam? <laughs> no, it's... um Walkabout? <laughs> No, Dingo Eat My no. Baby. No. Um, yeah, yeah, Mad Max. Oh, it should be Thunderdome is what it should be. If they don't do a call of Thunderdome, no, they're it's, fucking it's, stupid. It's not Thunderdome, no. They're stupid. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. It's a really Beyond generic. <laughs> it's a really generic name here. I'll, I'll look it up real quick. No, it's not Beyond Thunderdome it, either. <laughs> is, it, uh, is it you're all descended from convicts? <laughs> is that mm-hmm. what it is? Nope, and thanks for alienating our uh, Australia listening base. Tony. There's like one, yeah. <laughs> two. There's Oz and someone else. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we love them both. Why can't I find this? Oh, it's got to be Crikey Fest. <laughs> no, it certainly is not. Damn. Wow. I don't. I don't know why I can't find this. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Uh, Rumble in the Bush. <laughs> no. Also a porn title. No. Oh, here we go. It's called WWE Super Showdown. That's terrible. Right? All mine are way better. Uh, I, I don't know about all, but a all few of them, them. A few of them weren't bad. <laughs> They're all better. I'm not sure all of them. No. Stick with me. United Front. How are we going to sell our sex masks if we're <laughs> not United Front? <laughs> <laughs> well, the way you you said it, they literally must be a united front. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to fuck Brian and Tony at the same time? <laughs> you ever want to fulfill all your fantasies? Right. Have your partner wear the salty language sex mask. <clears throat> Man. All right. Hot shit right there. Yeah. All right. I've talked wrestling enough. I should probably move on. 
wish I had sexy music on my soundboard. I should have had that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For the mm-hmm. for the talk about the wrestlers' bodies that we did, of course, yeah. <laughs> or any, and just it could be just handy to have sexy music. Well, I'm sure it is. I just need to find a, you know, I was gonna say duty free, not duty free, <laughs> copyright free, <laughs> sexy music, duty free, yeah, <laughs> duty. Oh, damn it, man. You ever you ever have one of those mornings when you wake up feeling like you're just hung over as fuck? Mm-hmm. That was me this morning. Sweet. Like, all I had yesterday was water. Mm-hmm. Coffee. Right. Oh, I think I had a beer at, like, four. Well, there's where you but went wrong. I clearly derailed everything. It was so, it was weird. No, you didn't have enough is the problem. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just woke up, felt like death. Mm-hmm. Like, headache. Not, I wouldn't go, I had to take aspirin. It's like, what is going on? Hmm. I, I took a nap later today. I never nap. Jeez. I know, I'm becoming old. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Man, did you go this, did you go get some Seppa? <laughs> the early Seppa. bird? <laughs> yeah, Philly. Yeah. I I think it's this bachelor lifestyle I've been living this past week. Probably. Yeah. It's fucking me up. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's what it is. Your body just wants to rot on the couch basically and you're fighting it. So it's you know I guess. Yeah, you know, it's it's rejecting you is what it is. I know, right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's just weird. <laughs> Mm. Well, then I, I went to my mom's today to help her pull weeds because mm-hmm. it's something normally my kids and other grandkids help her with, and she keeps up all year, but hasn't happened. Did I talk about me going to her house because the cop, the, yeah. the wind blew her? Okay. Yeah. So when that happened, uh, that's when I noticed how bad her weeds were. And I told her, I'm like, I'll help you. And she's like, oh, you got to be ready, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. Dude. Was, it's funny. I'm glad you went into the whole, like, you know, the kids normal because I was going to be like, isn't that what grandkids should be doing? Yeah. yeah. It, not this summer. Dude. I was there about five hours before I'm like, I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, you know, I mean, I granted, I took like a 15 minute break to eat some food because I was just dying. Right. And I still felt like I was hung over for some reason. Nice. And, uh, yeah, I, I probably put together a pile that I could easily jump into if it wasn't full of like prickers and stuff. Wow. That sounds like a blast. And there's still plenty to do. Oh my. Wow. It's insane. I mean, I know what the property up there looks like, so that must have been really, really, yeah, uh, I mean, it's, go, and huh? it's just like, just right, like I just did basically right in front of the house. It's just that no one's done anything with it all summer, so it's so wow. overgrown. Yeah. It's bad. Surprising to just call out like a, a landscaper or something. <laughs> just be like, well, the, this. Well, Ma, yeah, the, the quotes that landscapers are giving them yeah. was within the thousands of dollars. Oh, damn. And they're like, nah, we'll yeah. figure something out. Seriously. <laughs> so when my dumb ass is like, hey, do you want me to help you with these? <laughs> <laughs> what am I always telling you, Tony? Quit volunteering. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm going to go back tomorrow morning and doing over a couple out no doing our round oh my it's fucking silly dude yeah sounds like it does she pay you like a nickel at the end of it or anything <laughs> a shiny nickel i did get two ham and turkey sandwiches and some watermelon today that's i mean that's that's i don't know if it's an yeah. even trade but at least it's you know better than i mean a nickel. you know I, when i was well i had to make the sandwiches when oh, I ham. well God never never mind that <laughs> never mind but I, I was i mean i was like <laughs> I don't know about this lunch me, but whatever. Because <laughs> I've been like Johnny Boar's head for years. Now. Oh, right, right. So when it's when it's not like fancy lunch meat, I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I've become a lunch meat snob. As, as long as it wasn't like fuck, what were those? Uh, was it Carl Buttig or whatever? Remember those packets of oh, lunch God. meat? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like looks like it's in an MRE. Yeah, yeah. It should have been M E E T type yeah, shit. Meat, meat, <laughs> or uh, quotes around meat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yikes. So yeah, the, uh, the old me trying to be a good son's turned into a whole situation. Yep. It's all right. I mean, I, I honestly would have done it anyway. It's just kind of, it's a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Yeah. I would no. imagine. So, so what you just need to do is just, just go over there with, you know, a uh, a, a trimmer and just kill everything in sight. Well, supposedly she's got some sort of like spray, mm-hmm. 
that I'm gonna I'm gonna use on all the little shit. I'm not going around and plucking little fucking fuck those. That's where you know that's where I come in like the goddamn you know army and the V. I can't even talk. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. Agent Orange, motherfucker. I was just going to say, I actually have a second suggestion, which was going to be fire. So, yeah. Agent Orange, close enough. I heard fire from uh, someone else earlier today. That yep. was a good way to deal with it. So, Tell there you me. go. I keep saying that. People don't yeah. listen to me. Fire Dude, cleanses. They, <laughs> they sell those. Have you seen those things? What? They're, they're like little flamethrowers you hook to a propane tank and are strictly to burn out weed. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah. Oh, I need one of those. I know, right? Just in case some asshole shows up here and just be like, hold on, let me get my backpack. <laughs> Dude, I want it so I can make a giant creme brulee. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> I I just want one so I can, you know, uh, finally have my, um, oh shit, what was his name? Blowtorch from G.I. Joe. So I can oh, finally nice. do my Blowtorch uh, cosplay. <laughs> With real flamethrowing action. Yeah, yeah. That's it. I'm just, it's just, it's me and my, uh, uh, yellow polka dotted, you know, uh, underoos out there with a, with the, the flamethrower. That's your wrestling gimmick? Mm -hmm. Flamethrower? Yeah. Win every time. Right. I'm going to come out and dance around like Dusty Rhodes, too. They come at you for clothesline. Just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, he's got a chair. He's got a blowtorch. <laughs> 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 See, I win that fight. <laughs> yeah, every time. <laughs> yep, my chair's gonna get real high. Surprise! Yeah, <laughs> I like it. This is a good plan. Fire wins. Yep, <laughs> this is a good. This is a excellent plan. It is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big fan. Yeah, me too. Oh man! So how about that? Uh, that hurricane, huh? Dude, right? I, oh. It's one of the interesting things about, like, talking to people on Twitter and what have you, you know, is right. that you talk to people all over the place. So, you know, I've talked with a variety of people that are right in the path, basically. So, yeah, that's no bueno. It's, man, that thing's a beast of a storm. Yeah, it's it's insane because I actually have a really good uh, friend of family that uh lives down in Carolina like on an island right off the coast so you know cuz they have all they have like the outer banks and all that you know yeah yeah that certainly so guys, seems they, like a bad they place live to out be there. yeah yeah cuz that's what I was asking my mom about them today I'm like so what are they up to they're like oh they're in Michigan right now uh, like, good, okay good. good yeah i know on the news they're showing like all these people idea. yeah all these people on the news and you know, they're like, oh, you're staying? They're like, yeah, you know, we've we've dealt with worse. And it's like, how do you know that? Like, yeah, you like, know? Like, have you, though? Have you? Like, maybe this one blows your house apart and kills you. That would be worse than any previous storm. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, exactly. I don't know. Call me crazy. I just don't like calling the bluff of a hurricane, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, I agree. Yeah, yeah. There's just certain things in life you don't fuck with. Wu-Tang Clan, hurricanes. <laughs> Dude, imagine if it was Hurricane Wu Tang. Oh man, that's whew. man, Hurricane. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, fucking Hurricane. Every you know, and plus you know, they send all the all the news stations are sending like all these people there to cover it. You know, and it's like, okay, how many more people just went into that state? They sh they have no business being there because Hurricane. <laughs> hurricane. <laughs> you know? Exactly, because there's a hurricane uh, coming. Uh, yep. Uh, he's actually, he's from, was it North Carolina, I think. So, yeah. I thought you were going to say he was dead. No, no, no. He's still going strong, man. Wrestling yeah, on good. the Indies off and on as the hurricane again. <clears throat> you know, the superhero gimmick hurricane. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. which was the best. Again, wrestling talk. If you ever want something fun, go back and find the uh, matches he had with The Rock. There was some good stuff uh, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good stuff. Yeah. Because <laughs> The Rock had no business, like, making him look good, but he sure did, you know. Right. <clears throat> the Rock should have just basically killed yeah, him. Yeah, the, the hurricane actually, uh, they had to change the itinerary of Genie's trip because of the hurricane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, it's what, 
there's the one heading for the Carolinas, and there's another one heading towards Puerto Rico. Right. <laughs> I think there's another one behind that, Shit's too. It's crazy down yeah. there right now. Yeah, there's a whole chain of them. It looks like someone threw like some sort of fireball combo at us from Africa or something. Right? It's the worst set of anal beads ever. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those are terrible. Anal yeah, beads. right? <laughs> Why is the category four one first? <laughs> <laughs> because it'll feel the best as the last one. I don't know. <laughs> I, I guess. I don't know. Good question. Is that how man. that works? I, I mean, you got to stretch, but I don't think you're supposed to go all the way with the first one, you know? I know, right? Well, we will when we do our uh, salty language uh, anal beads. Right. <laughs> yeah, they're they're all just like basketball size. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Each, well, no, the basketball size one's definitely your dome. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yikes. That is something somebody does not want. We can also double want. market them as like rosary beads, maybe. Mm-hmm. Can we mm-hmm. get into the religious market too? Obviously, people come here for the religious uh-huh. guidance. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> not if they're smart, they don't. Truth. Mm. Man. So, uh, what else you been up to this shortened week? <laughs> um. Not much. <laughs> Watching some nonsense, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. nothing spectacular. I did. I was talking to my son. Where was this class when we were in school? Mm-hmm. He's in a class and it's required to graduate. Is it a, a class of seduction? <laughs> no, we teach that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Duh. <laughs> no, it's it's called current events. Okay. And it's from what it sounds like, it's basically like they take a quiz about stuff that's going on that day. And so huh. like somebody in the someone in their class will present an article that they pull, mm-hmm. like kind of like we do. Mm-hmm. They discuss it and then they have like a, a short quiz at the end of class. Huh. Interesting. It sounds like how to consume media to me. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't think kids these days really needed uh, any, you know any help with. You know, I, if if it helps if it if it would help kids learn more about places that aren't the U S you know, stuff like that, I'm all for it. Cause you know, like, well, yeah, same here. Cause you know, the U S we don't know shit about any other country, you know? So, right. Um, well, we do know one thing that they all suck. <laughs> America. Oh boy. <laughs> Great. There goes our four other followers. <laughs> um, that's an interesting, I remember in, uh, one of my classes, I can't remember what it is. We used to have to bring in, uh, each week we had to bring in, an, uh, like a, a small article or something like that. That was something current. And then, uh, a couple of us, I think would have to, you know, you'd have to read it to the class and discuss it, you know, but you, everyone had to turn it in. Um, right. But yeah, that, and I always liked that because it was, you know, Making people, you know, making kids open their damn eyes to the world, you know. Which is nice. Right. But yeah. now, like you said, it's like uh, there's so much, so many ways to consume these stories that, you know, it's like it's, sources are beating each other down to get to you, <laughs> you know. Yeah. that That's why I'm, when he was telling me about this class, I was like, well, why'd you take this? He's like, oh, it's a requirement. I'm like, because it just sounds, you know, it's like it sounds like what I do on a daily basis. I'm always flipping through Apple News. Yeah, I'm, me you too. know, it's like I, why can but I we, get credit for this? Yes. I don't <laughs> no, know. No, you can't. No. I mean, flying colors of our show. We clearly talk about all the important things mm-hmm, mm-hmm. going on within within the world, nay, the universe. Right. We've talked about anal beads, hurricanes, wrestling. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, we've covered most of what you. Oh, flamethrowers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, I mean, gurus. Mm-hmm. You can't right. get much, much more diverse than our topic. Koala bash. Koala bash. <laughs> Damn it! Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We've we've covered all these things. It is interesting, though. That are they allowed to like? Do they have to um, actually bring in something like print a story off or something, or can they just I... read it off their phones? Truth be told, this conversation was in the, like, three-minute drive from the house to his work. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah. Because right. he was just like, you know what my favorite class is? Current events. I'm like, what, is, what the fuck is this, you know? Yeah. 
Like, please enlighten me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. It's just like, there's, there's a few things that I've thought for a long time that, you know, and I'm not alone in this, that, um, kind of need to be revised that you need to be taught in school. You know, it's like when we were in school, I took a class, um, shit, I don't remember what the hell it was called now. Um, basically the whole point of the class was to teach you like how to balance a checkbook, you know, oh, like personal finance. Stuff. Yeah. It was all that kind of thing. Like just stuff you, you need to know. You know, yeah. now people don't have to know as much how to balance a checkbook because you can constantly look at your bank account online and see how much money you have. But, right. you know, unless you do write checks, then you need to keep track of it. But, um, <clears throat> I can't remember what that name of the class is. It's going to bug the shit out of me. Anyway, um, but, you know, like, we, we learned that. We did, um, um, like expenses for, you know, living on your own, essentially, you know, just little shit to, again, open your eyes a little bit to life skills. Yeah. You know, and I was like, this is how to adult properly. Yes. And it's like, this is the kind of shit that should be done. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, like I already knew how to balance a checkbook before I took it, you know, because my parents taught me when I was younger, you know, but I also understand that, you know, with my parents doing the flea markets and stuff like it's like, I was around money and making change and doing all that kind of stuff when I was like eight, you know? So right. it wasn't one of those things where I had to wait till I was in the job world to really learn any of that stuff. But, you know, some of it's eye opening. Like we actually had to call around to, um, uh, like we had to look in the newspaper, um, uh, you know, back when everyone got the newspaper, mm-hmm. uh, we had to find, like go through like the, the apartment section, pick one out, call the apartment complex and find out like the estimated bills for that apartment kind of a thing. And right. and then write up, essentially work out a budget. And the point of that was to show us that you can't just live high on the hog as like an 18 year old generally, you know, cause, there, cause even then she was like, okay, well assume you're going to work a minimum wage job because cause you're 18. Yeah. You have no skills. So, yeah. well, I mean, I have skills, but you know what I mean. Oh, with a Z. Right. <laughs> Mad skills, right? Mad skills. Um, but, you know, stuff like that. And I, I like that there's schools teaching mental health now, you know, a little bit more. Because it really feels like health class is not as um, in-depth as it really should be, you know? I agree. There's a lot of adults that yeah. don't even understand much of what's going on in their own body. And I'm not saying you need to be, you know, uh, like a... Uh, you know, like to where you could testify as an expert witness or something, but you know, it's well. Here's a prime example, Brian. Mm-hmm. You know, my, my brought to you my by wife, Amazon. No, <laughs> yeah, sorry, my wife, Genie of Hobie. Wait, who? Genie of uh, no, those no, who no, no. Not be named. You didn't do the. You always do the Borat thing when you say oh, my wife. I'm sorry. My wife. <laughs> That's better. Right. Um. She was telling me that she has, uh, well, had, because now she's got a new deal, a, uh, a client of hers mm-hmm. that was, you know, diabetic. And when her blood sugar was going down, her solution was to, uh, eat sugar bread. Oh my. Which is just white bread with a bunch of white sugar on it. <laughs> right. Great when you're a little kid. It's delicious. Yeah, I mean that that's definitely poor white trash dessert right there. Yeah, that's it is. what I did. Little little <laughs> bit of butter and then that sugar all over yeah. it. Delicious. Dude, you had butter? Margarine. <laughs> yeah. You're right. <laughs> little store <laughs> brand country crack right down there. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, so you know, I mean I that's not how you should probably probably treat your diabetes. I don't know. I I'm I'm pretty sure the doctors all talk about that. They're like, you know, if you feel like you're crashing, have some sugar toast. That's <laughs> not even toast. Sugar oh, bread. sugar bread. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I, I forgot. I don't, I don't want to assume they have a toaster. Um, it's just, oh, man. Yeah, that's that's a bad, bad move right there. It's, yeah. mm. but that's the other thing. It's like, you know, when, um, like, at any point in your schooling, were you taught, aside from, like, the food pyramid, were you taught anything about nutrition? 
Oh, fuck no. Everything right? I know about nutrition, I've learned myself. Right. And mostly as an adult, you know? Yeah. Like, not even as a, like, you know, and I, like, I didn't learn anything in college either, but I was fine with that because, you know, I, I want my college classes to be about the major I'm going into, you know? Bro, I remember distinctly when we were hardcore playing Magic the Gathering, I was like, I got to cool it with all this Mountain Dew. When I play cards, I'm going to start drinking a half a gallon of orange juice. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Clearly, that's healthier. <laughs> well, it is healthier, I would say. It, it it probably is healthier. At least there's some nutritional value to orange yeah, juice. All that sugar. <laughs> oh, no, I know. I'm just... <laughs> Mountain Dew has got zero that's going to do mu- do anything for you. So, you know. Well, I, I learned how to skateboard quite well. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. You were very extreme. <laughs> yes. Backwards rollerblading with my hot pink helmet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I thought you were going to say hot pink spandex, but. Well, that too, that was implied. <laughs> right? Uh, I didn't yeah. wear anything else. Right? The like, shorty short ones. Of course, I mean. Yeah, exactly. You gotta look good. The, the you know? neon mesh cut off shirt, you Definitely. know. Definitely. <laughs> Some bitch. Like, you know, like where it cuts off at the thighs is actually higher than the dick pouch. <laughs> Those shorts. Wow. Those, those are some short shorts, my friend. Those are some short shorts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, I thought the coach's shorts that, you know, were, were the, the short ones. That prude. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Good point. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, what so. Is Puritan? <laughs> yes. No. Puritan New England in the 1600s or something. Maybe. There, there wasn't anyone there in 1600s. No. No. <laughs> Or was there? <laughs> in the 1600s? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there was. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Oh, it went all right, man. <sighs> Boy. Right. I think you've well, had too many of those sequences. <laughs> I only had one, barely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> My problem is I'm fucking tired, dude. Oh. I'm that guy. I just do not sleep very well in a bed by myself. Yeah. Have you tried the diagonal move? I've been all over okay. the place. My, my new move is my pillows mm-hmm. form a TV stand for my phone. I fall asleep on Genie's <laughs> pillows with Netflix on. Fair enough. Fair enough. And that doesn't work real well. No? No. Mm. All right. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Worth a try. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, man. Diagonal is where it's at. What they, I'm saying they, is. They've been is lying it, to us for years about, you know, speaking of things they should teach in school. It's like when you're sleeping by yourself, fucking diagonal maneuver. Sleep on the diagonal? Fuck yeah. It's like you're using the whole bed. Right. You know? Yeah. I, I'm just saying I need like a volunteer little spoon. That's mm-hmm. all I need. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's not my dog because she's not allowed. Yeah, I was going to say otherwise she'd be a good option. I mean, you know. Yeah, if I want to fucking have romper room at 2.30 in the morning. Right. I also feel like you'd wake up as the small spoon. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> you're like <laughs> holding on to her paw, you know. Man. <clears throat> Craziness. Yeah, I get you, though. I, I had some real issues with it for a while. I mean, luckily for me, I already had sleeping issues, so it was, <laughs> wasn't was that noticeable. But you just, know. just layered on top. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Man. 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 Um, Anything else from your week? Well, you know, I was, uh, is, this is going to be like a, uh, a whole birthday weekend. Mm-hmm. This upcoming weekend. Right. Because we're going out for your weekend. Your weekend. Your birthday. No, it's my weekend. Yeah. Also <laughs> your weekend. I called it. Nice. But, uh, my original Thursday gimmick was, uh, Friday is Michelle's birthday. Oh, yeah. That's right. I forgot about right? that. Mm mm-hmm. mm. And, like, all summer, she's like, oh, you, I got to go for a ride in your Jeep about the doors. I'm like, yeah, we'll make that happen. Hasn't happened. <laughs> so I was like, hey, how about Thursday Well, or whatever? Pick a day. Mm-hmm. She picked Thursday. Well, she's like, well, you know, my birthday's Friday. You, you mind moving it to Friday? I'm like, I don't care. Right. So I, I so we're doing going out for her birthday. Birthday. Mm-hmm. And I only have three objectives I need to me- reach. Okay. Is... uh. No doors, Jeep ride. Right. That's easy. Easy. Although yeah. it's going to be, you know, I'm like, bring a hoodie because it's going to get chilly. Yeah, it does. It does. Even when it's like 
fairly warm, it, it's still kind of chilly riding in that because yeah, yeah, you exactly. feel all the air. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I got that to, to objective. Mm-hmm. Uh, mini golf was a request. Okay. I was like, all right, that's fair. We figured it out. Yeah. And then uh, a flask of Jaeger and a merry-go-round. <laughs> Like we're talking like children's playground merry go round. Like playground merry go round. Wow. Yeah. I don't know if that and, that, and Jaeger uh, mix well. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I'm like, that sounds like a terrible. It's a terrible idea. idea. Yeah. But apparently, she's like, it's been a long time since I've had, I went out and had a good time on my birthday, and I'm like, oh, whatever, whatever you need to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So there you go. Jaeger and a merry go round. Hmm. I wish I had a T-shirt that said that. I mean, you could. I guess. Just, you got a white t-shirt and a marker? Uh, yeah, but it's a really nice white t-shirt. No, well, don't do it on the white, nice white t-shirt. Exactly. I mean, it could still be a light-colored shirt as long as the marker shows up. That's true. You know. I mean, I got I got some, you know, haggard-ass wife beaters. There you go. Boom. That, that, in that fact, it might be, I was going to say, it might be more appropriate on those. <laughs> this is accurate. Mm, I like it. Yeah, definitely yeah. go that route. So yeah, that'll be my Friday. Definitely jeeping and mini golf. I'm not sure about the merry-go-round, but I'll see what I can do. Seems like a terrible idea, but yeah, whatever. I mean, yeah, exactly. I'm just the driver, basically. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you don't have to clean anything up. Hey, hey you know. At least in your Jeep, Jeep you just hose Jeep's it out. Got, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's got drain holes. We're good. Yeah. That's why it made <laughs> me laugh when we showed up at um, trivia. Last time, you know, and it was starting to rain a little bit, you know, and T's like, ah, oh, Tony's Jeep's all over. I'm like, dude, he just hoses it out when it's dirty. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's, it does not matter. <laughs> no, fu- the worst thing I had on that drive home was my, I got home, my ass was wet, but I'm yeah. just like, eh, well, who that's, cares? that's pretty normal though. Yeah. You know, a little, a little moist ass never hurt anybody. <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh my! The moist ass, aka the rewipe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> yep. Oh man, I um, I was talking with somebody the other day, and they were talking about um, their little boy came out after going to the bathroom and was like, "Dad, how do you know when you wiped enough?" <laughs> <laughs> And his answer was, and it's a good answer, is, you know, basically <laughs> wipe till there's no brown. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, I was like, well, that's certainly a way to do it. I was like, the only problem is, you know, you may, you may tear up your, your, your arse hole doing that. But I think, isn't that a, isn't that a David Tell joke? Might brown, be. Brown, 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 red. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that. Yeah, see, it's, it's, it's good advice. Right. Uh, <laughs> he's like, well, I didn't want to tell him any different because he's like, you know, I don't want people or I don't want him to not get clean. Well, yeah, accurate. Yeah. I was like, yeah. And, you know, good call. <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> At least he's got the brains to be like, yeah. hmm. At least he asked, you know, he didn't just walk around with a dirty ass. I mean, you know. Well, maybe he did, but at least he asked first, you know. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, Mm -hmm. At least the kid had the... Yeah. Yeah. To be like, one is clearly not enough. (laughs) (laughs) Right? Sometimes it's a, you know, sometimes you got to go back in there with reinforcements. Yeah, it's true. Exactly. (laughs) You know, what are you going to do? You know? If it's more than that, maybe just step in the shower. <laughs> just hose that off. That'd be funny. So I, you go outside and your kids just get bidets. Yeah. Oh, I totally yeah. agree. That's what classy people do. Yeah. Right. Or right out in the yard. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Is you just go out and get the hose. <laughs> yeah. You, you chase that little yellow tractor around your yard, <laughs> right? <laughs> you just stand over the sprinkler. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Neighbor's out there without his pants on again. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Get some wet, wet wipes, you savage. <laughs> God damn, Hannibal. Oh, man. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> <laughs> T- 
terrible. It's very, it's, it's, it's very terrible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. But yeah, no, my week's been pretty cheap. It's been pretty chill, man. Pretty yeah. chill. Mine has been too. Hasn't, hasn't been much going on. I go tomorrow to, um, well, this will be, you know, it'll have already happened when people listen to this, but, um, Indeed. I go tomorrow for the next, um, uh, shot of testosterone. Right. So I figure I'll do that, you know, tear a couple desks in half and, you know, wh- whatever else I feel like doing while I'm around, you know. You should show up in like affliction gear and like a bandana on. <laughs> that would be funny if I just did that. Shitty Oakley. Right. Just like as time goes on, I just yeah, get just, more and more <laughs> meat headed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <It'd> be amazing. <laughs> the, the next time you show up, you're in like Zubaz. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh no! Just chewing gum obnoxiously. Oh, of course. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if I could do that. I think I'd drive myself crazy with that Dude, for the bit. Oh yeah, for the bit I'd do it. Yeah. You know, there's a, a wrestler right now named Dolph Ziggler, and he's a heel, but and he's supposed to be like arrogant and all this stuff. And he chews gum and he does that. It's like full on mouth open when he chews and does the quick chew and everything. And I was talking with fluffy bunny ash about that and i'm like that's how good of a heel he is is like he's putting that piece of gum over you know like mm-hmm. because it, it just adds that little extra like Ugh, creep like, like oh, stop fuck it this guy yeah <laughs> so i was like you know i haven't seen someone use gum as a prop in wrestling like that since mr perfect so oh i got it rest in peace hmm. you need to <laughs> You need to have the Zubaz, mm. the whole situation. Right. Just the fanny obnoxious pack. shirt. Mm-hmm. Fanny pack. Mm-hmm. I was, I was about to say <laughs> fanny pack. Cause when the doctor comes in, you pull a Tupperware out of it full of chicken and rice. <laughs> like six meal. <laughs> Got my gallon of water with me. <laughs> exactly. Or and energy drink. Jug. Yeah. <laughs> or protein drink of some sort. Muscle piss, you know. <laughs> Muscle piss. Muscle piss. I mean, it's the best. Yeah. I got to stay on brand, you know. Gotta stay on brand. Yeah. That would be great, actually, to fill um, a gallon up with something that is similar to urine color, like apple juice or whatever, and have like a muscle piss shirt on and just be drinking it. Start guzzling it. <laughs> Make it, it to it where it's like... It's and Sharpie on the bottle, <laughs> yeah. muscle piss. It's just pouring out the sides of my mouth down my shirt and everything, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yep. All right. I'm going to have to go shopping, I guess. Oh, that would be just the fucking best. That would be. This is, what would be great is if they notice it, you know, like at some point they're like, why is he coming in every week like this? Like you notice he's wearing a backwards flat bill? Mm-hmm. Did he have hair before? Where'd he get that mullet? <laughs> what? Yeah, what's going on? Yep. <laughs> Did he always have an obnoxious gold chain <laughs> Did with, he? A, with a, like a diamond lion head? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, man. Did he call us all bro the last time he was here? Oh, man. He kept looking at the mirror in the room and just saying, I'm fucking huge. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> he just kept posing when he was in the waiting exactly. room. <laughs> He signed in as juicy as fuck. What? <laughs> Who does that? Uh, you know, they won't forget you at least. That's true. That's <laughs> true. My. Did you notice the sports sandals? <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Good times. Be amazing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Goddamn amazing. Yeah, it would. Yeah, baby. Yep. So yeah, that and uh, uh, still as to be determined what we're doing this weekend. So I should probably figure that out since it's yeah, for sure, for sure, Wednesday. since it's this weekend. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, um, yeah. So you know, doing that, turning forty this weekend, and uh, then yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Right. Yeah. Official birthday weekend though. Yeah. Apparently, I mean, M- Michelle's sounds more exciting than mine. I mean, you know, that's the goal. Open door would be more exciting than yours, but to, right. you know, right? No let door her Jeep get out of her shell. Yeah, oh, man. Ugh. Yeah, 
Good yeah. stuff. I mean, apparently, uh, you know, talking to her this week, uh, she hasn't really had a full meal since we went to that concert. Oh, my goodness. I know, right? It's been like poor, six years ago. Yeah. Poor poor lady. Right? Uh, yeah. Kids these days, I'll tell you what. I know, right? <clears throat> yep. So, yeah. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for the week. You got you got some other stuff for us to talk about? I got a couple things. Bro, I got so much stuff. Not Bro. so much, but I got... I, I mean, I, we sh- I should have brought this up when we were talking about the Hurricanes. We're going to backtrack a little we, bit. We're going to talk some hockey? Yeah, no. Real quick on hockey, did you see that um, Steve Eiserman stepped down as GM of the Tampa Bay Lightning, and now all of Detroit is a Twitter? <laughs> really? Yeah, even though the Red Wings just extended Ken Holland, their GM, there's a lot of people that think that Eiserman is going to be the next GM of the Wings. You don't say, huh? Yeah. I mean, that would be nice, eh? Mm-hmm. Come home, yeah. come home. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. Um, so you might find this shocking. You know, we're talking about how Americans don't know much about the world, and they're like, I don't know. I hate to say the word dumb, but I'm going to say the word dumb. Yeah, I'll allow that. <sighs> so Hurricane Florence, right? Mm-hmm. It's a coming. Yep. There's a Facebook group. Called shooting guns at Hurricane Florence to scare it away. Oh my god, dude! They're doing this again. Oh, this has happened before, huh? Yeah, whatever the last big hurricane was last year or something like that. I remember us talking about it because there were assholes going out firing guns into a hurricane. Well, thirty thousand people are going to att- are marked to, to attend, and then seventy three thousand are interested in this group. Well, hopefully, whatever math number that is, end up getting shot because that's uh, what yes. they deserve. Why would it be you... great if the hurricane had pulled a magneto and all the bullets just went flying back into the crowd? Yes. I would allow uh, this. I mean, you hear stuff like this, and you're like, I need a stop sign to slice somebody in twain. Yeah. You feel Something like a pack of wild, yeah, a pack of, of, ra- of wolves should descend upon this group. Right, they really should be taken care of just for the betterment of mankind. And I, I guarantee a very high percentage of these people are just doing join this group because they think it's funny. Yeah, probably. It's not funny. No, it's certainly not. It's real dumb, guys. Right. Like I was saying a bit ago, it's like, you know, things to not call bluff on. <laughs> yeah. First rule of hurricanes, don't stand out in the hurricane. <laughs> yeah, don't even, I got, I'm not even going to dislike the hurricane on Facebook because I don't want the storm to come up here for some reason. Yeah, exactly. Why and you know it will. Chance? It watches that shit, you know. It does. Like, it oh, does. That, oh, I see. That some bitch in Michigan says, you know, yeah, anyway. <sighs> I know. I just, ugh. Yep. Ugh, Brian. Mm-hmm. So, so I have I have that little bit of moment to go, man, we're fucking dumb. Yeah, and then it follows up with this one. And you know, this is how I'm gonna. You know how I feel about this particular high end dining. Uh, yeah, Taco Bell's voted the best Mexican restaurant in the country. That's Were you aware of this? No. What the fuck is wrong with people? I mean, I'm glad my vote counted, but still, no. <laughs> <laughs> How, it's probably just because people eat Taco Bell more than most of the others. I know? guess. I don't know, man. I mean, it's clearly not. I, it's one of those things that, like, to me, fast food is is kind of a different subset from, you know what I mean? Like, if I was like, hey, let's go get some good Italian, we're not going to Olive Garden. You know? Yeah, exactly. We're not right. going to Carabas unless it's Monkey Monday or mon- whatever wow, it was. Dude. Yeah, Monkey then, Mondays. Then we're in, but otherwise, forget in. it, you know? Yeah. You know, so, and, and that's kind of like with Taco Bell. It's like, I don't consider it Mexican food. I just consider it fast food. It's shit that you eat when you're drunk or high or just whatever. It's not, it's not fine cuisine. I, I just, I don't under, I just don't understand. Mm-hmm. And I, I mean, I guess now that I'm, I'm kind of scrolling down here, it looks like it was just some sort of massive survey. So I get it. Yeah. That your local joint isn't going to get voted to number one because, like, the best coffee shop is Krispy Kreme. Really? I didn't even know Krispy Kreme had coffee. 
yeah, like, is there, I don't even know if there's a Krispy Kreme near us anymore. They all closed, no. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so if Dunkin' like, Donuts won that, I'd be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. They're everywhere, you know, whatever. Right. Or Starbucks, obviously, you know, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but I don't know. It's just. Well, there's also a chance that there's a good uh, chunk of people that voted because it, it would be the, wouldn't it be funny if Taco Bell won this? You know? Well, yeah, that's, that's accurate. So, wait, but still. It, it, yeah. It's just one of them things where I, I see lists like this, yeah. and I just makes it, it, it makes it me feel like it looks makes us look bad to the rest of the world. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh man. Like once again, I just want to like you know, I need my own island mm-hmm. out in the middle of nowhere where I can you know rule with an iron fist and have an eye patch and a parrot. Mm-hmm. You know, I have my shorty short pink shorts on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As one does when they're wearing their eye patch and parrot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. Skull and crossbones right across the ass meat. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I got your Jolly Roger. Um, Any, I mean, you know how I feel about Taco Bell anyway. Mm-hmm. I'm just, yeah, you love I'm it. I'm hammered. I don't want anything to do with it. Right. <laughs> that is when it's, oh, I mean, I don't get high, but it's like, um, you know, it is like to me, it, it is great after drinking. That's it. I, other than that, it's like I'll eat it, but I don't generally want it as much. So I'd be more inclined to go get like you know a stack of hot cakes and some bacon and like Listen, a couple eggs. I'm and, not going to say no to that either. You know, yeah, I can a do, cup of coffee, maybe wink at the waitress, right? <laughs> or or go get some late night za, you know, whatever. Dude, speaking of wacky drunken food, okay. Stone sober when we, we did this. Lee and I made pizza waffles. I saw that. Yeah, that's a good and it move. It was the shit. <laughs> that's a good move. Yeah. Next time I'm gonna, you know, I just bought like cans of because I I just need to eat. Yeah. It was one of those days I was running around like an idiot all day. Mm-hmm. And her and I got home stupid late. And... Right. Just bought some cans of beefaroni. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and she was like, "I'm like, what do you want for dinner?" She's like, "Pizza." I was like, "Hmm." We can make a quick pizza. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I just we just got the ingredients and dude, turned you know did dough toppings of sauce and cheese and then dough and then waffled it. Right, dude, it was fucking good. Yeah, it seems like a win for sure. I, I cut it up into dunkers, right? You know, and, mm-hmm. and oh yeah, dude, it was killer. That's dunkers with a Z, right? Fuck yeah, because okay. it's extreme. <laughs> you thought for- pizza with two Z's, right? You have pizza dunkers. <laughs> <laughs> so pizzazz is like a really extreme pizza, right? <laughs> oh my god, dude! If pizzazz pizza had dunkers, <laughs> I'm sure they do. I mean, how could they not, right? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was definitely like when I was making it, I was like, "This is something that if I was, you know, a twelve pack deep, or you know, talking to Jesus up on a cloud somewhere." Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That this this seems like the ideal situation because we were both just staring at the waffle iron and right. listening to it sizzle, <laughs> right? <laughs> and we're both like, I don't know if this is going to work. If it does, it's amazing. If right. not, it was a great failure. Right? It was a good try. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. If not, what went wrong? Can we fix it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. This is only version one point Right. You're running only- moonshot in your office or your house. I mean. You know, that Google program where, like, no idea is a bad idea, basically, you know? Right. Yeah. Type in pizza waffles. Yep. Delicious. I mean, uh... You should open up. Time to to get the food truck going. That'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. Chop. It it needs smaller toppings, more sauce. That'd be the only thing I'd change. I could see that. Even with them being dunkers? Yeah. Yeah. It needed more sauce on the inside, too. Fair enough. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I for sure, next time, we'll make my own dough. Not the you know canned stuff, right? I mean, as much as much fun as to you know pop those cans open and you know give yourself a minor stroke in the process, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. <clears throat> yeah, here I am shitting on Taco Bell, and then I'm like, dude, <laughs> pizza waffles. <laughs> no, no, you're you're totally okay. Pizza waffles, I'm sure, it beats Taco Bell. Like if you offered me both, I would go pizza waffle every time. Yeah, it was it was legit as fuck. Yeah, so. it, it made me when I pulled it out and I'm looking at it and then I cut into it and I'm like, this is this worked. Mm-hmm. I wanted, I was just like, what else can I waffle? <laughs> Everything. 
<laughs> I just want to do more well, dumb look, shit. Look at, dude, when we were sitting at uh, Trivia and Ashley had those um, loaded tots. And she was like, yeah, I'm going to, like, waffle these. And we were just all like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, well, that that was kind of what got my brain going yeah. was that, you know, that little conversation. Or, yeah, from that. Everything you eat, waffle it. Dude, I mean, In fact, you know, that's the name of the food truck, waffle it. <laughs> waffle it. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great. You just have the weirdest thing, like a waffle burrito. Uh <laughs> Back or a wa- earth, waffle waffle taco. That's what it is. Because you, you know you just use a tortilla and just mush it down. Can we call it a toffle? You can call it whatever you want. I don't care. Because waco sounds weird. Waffle. Yeah. Plus, people waffle. won't read it as waco. They'll read it as Waco. Yeah. Mm. Well, bro, they burned those kids alive. Like, mm-hmm. shut up, like, you, guacamole. You're like, what do you think this is made of? <laughs> like, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you want guacamole? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm all, I'm all about that. I kind of feel like yeah. I need to buy a different waffle iron now. Yeah. Ours is, I mean, ours is amazing, mm. but it's not easy to clean. Oh, right. You know, and when you're throwing, like, pizza sauce and shit in there, mm-hmm. that was a fucking nightmare the next day, my friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, take it out and use the... um your ass hose on it. <laughs> Don't touch the blue one. That's my ass hose. Stop drinking from that. <laughs> yeah, probably a bad idea. I don't need your germs on my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Ass hose. <laughs> You know, the part is, is like I'm laughing at it, but in the back of my head, I'm going, there has to be someone out there that's doing this. Yes, exactly. There's got to like, be somebody that hoses their ass off. <laughs> oh, for sure. And I don't mean in sort of some like tragic way, like they're homeless and they just use someone's hose or something like that. I'm just, there's just some backwards thinking person that's just like, you know what? <laughs> Spraying the undercarriage, you know? Like, man, I come outside the shit anyways. <laughs> there I'm it is. already yeah. here. Right? That makes sense to me, yeah. I mean, you got to clean off. What are you going to do, track it across the house? I mean. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're just scooting across the carpet like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's terrible. Terrible. That's very terrible. All right, let's move on. We should Okay. Yeah. Pizza waffles, like, though, definitely sound like a win to me. I may have oh, to man. do that. I, I'm pretty sure I have a waffle maker here. So. Yeah, I, I would highly recommend it because, honestly, the best part was how quickly it cooked. Oh, yeah, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. It was just like, and then I kind of, like, lifted it. I was like, oh, shit, they're all golden brown. And it came out of nice. the waffle iron real nice. Mm-hmm. And, did you use matzen? Mozzarella. <laughs> oh, dude, fuck yeah, I did. Right, just making sure. A mozzarella. I figured so. Well, yeah. Sure. What yeah. am I, an animal? Well, well yeah. Don't answer that. Yeah. It's like, kind of. Assholes. That's all I need to say. Assholes. <laughs> that sounds like a taunt. Assholes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What, what a terrible nickname. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> like, oh, that guy? Yeah, dude, he's got diarrhea all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they used to call him the cleaner, and then he really dropped the ball in game. And now he's assholes. <laughs> oh, man. Whew. All right, you got any other, any other stuffs here? Uh, well, I mean, I, I can keep going down this rabbit hole weird fucking shit. Well, here, let me, let me throw, like, we'll, we'll bounce around a little bit or whatever. Let's do it. So, <clears throat> did you see, in uh, the new Spider-Man game, you know, on the PS4 that looks freaking crazy good. We talked about uh-huh. last week. Um, there's an Easter egg in it where a guy, like, on Twitter um, contacted the developers and was like, Hey, I, you know, can you do something really cool? And I guess inside the game, like on a movie theater on the marquee, they put a thing where it says, Will you marry me, Maddie? And it was him proposing to his girlfriend. Right. Oh, wow. All right. Seems really cool. However. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, they. Where it goes wrong. Yeah. They ended up um, breaking up and she basically was like, not only is the answer no, basically, but um, 
she's like, that's not even the way I'd want to be proposed to. I was like, man, that's wow. rough. That's a kick in the gut and then like a curb stomp, you know? What an ungrateful bitch. Right. Well, he posted on his Twitter, you know, that things didn't so much work out. And um, someone from the game, the Insomniac Games, you know, was like, hey, do you want us to change the sign basically so that, you know, when you're playing, you're not constantly reminded of it. <laughs> He's playing, yeah, and then just starts crying. Yeah, for no right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was like, oh man, that would suck too, wouldn't it? I mean, geez, um, makes a great story for later in life, though. Yeah, right. So right. he, um, he, at first he said no. Apparently, he's since sent them a tweet. At, you know, it was like, hey, I have an idea. I, I haven't heard anything past that, so it's, uh, you know, because they're basically like the next patch that they do. They can change that real quick you know right <laughs> it would be really funny if the next one is like maddie is a bitch <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh wow that, that took a turn like, wow jeez. damn yeah huh who know who yeah. knew who knew oh man so yeah that's uh that's a rough go though i thought it was kind of a cool idea though you know yeah i I don't think i've ever heard of anyone doing that before that wasn't a developer already yeah exactly put in their own little thing right i was like oh that's that's cool that they did that and then i kept reading i was like oh oh (laughs) oh jeez ouch boy ouch I was like, yeah, I certainly would want that change so that, you know, like I said, if I was still playing the game, every time I go by that, it wouldn't be, you know, open sobbing. (laughs) Yeah, it's just like a a quick, (sighs) yep. and then you keep web slinging. (laughs) Just one tear rolls down your cheek. Yeah. Wow, that is something right there. Yeah. That looks like an amazing game, by the way. It does. Yeah. I know we already talked about it, so I'll stop. Yeah. I've seen a lot of screenshots from people. It looks really cool. Like, it yeah, looks I've like noticed, they're having uh, fun. I, I, cause, you know, obviously you can take pictures as Spider Man in the game. Like, right. I've seen a lot of Spider Man selfies. Yeah. Especially at Uncle Ben's grave. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course. Savages. Yeah. Yep. Feckin' savages. Yep. All right. <clears throat> All right. So, what else you got? Um, well, you know, I got some Canadian news. Okay. Eh? All right. Good, good. Oh, Canadian news, eh? Uh, two Canadians in the Great White North there died in a freak accident, Brian. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, actually, three Canadians died in this. Okay. There's So, picture it. Ottawa, Canada. You're driving down the road, right? Mm-hmm. You hit a fucking 440 pound bear. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. As one does. Mm-hmm. As one does, because Canada. Right. Now, a lot of those bear videos I've seen, they get hit and they kind of just like shake it off and run into the woods. It's fascinating. Right. Not this bear. This bear went careening in the oncoming traffic through a windshield. Oh my. Killing the two people in the car. Wow. It continued to went out the back window. Now, now by killed them, are we talking like crushed them with its weight? Or are we talking like mauled them? Like, like, you no, know, it went, yeah, it went through them, okay, basically. Okay, okay. Because I was like, damn, <laughs> thinking it, it just got hit and then was just like, oh, yeah, motherfucker, <laughs> just tore people up, you know? It was uh, the bear's body hit the 25-year-old driver and a 40-year-old man sitting behind her. So he's in the back seat. Jeez. And then the bear continued out the back window. <laughs> wow. So all, yeah, all three of them died. Wow. Whoever hit whoever hit the bear originally is fine. Of course, yeah. I mean, they have to live with that awful tragedy the rest of their life. Man, seriously, wow. Like, yeah, I killed three people once, but like, how? Like, you're not going to believe it. It was a bear missile. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah, exactly. Jeez. And then you know, uh, local police spokesman Martin Fornell told you know said. Uh, we don't see this often, eh? Even if we live in the country. Lots of deer, but collisions of a bear and two people died. That's really rare. I'm not sure if that was Canadian. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's not. Um, it's not it wasn't. Flawless. It was flawless. I thought the guy was here. I thought you had him on the phone or something, you know? You know. No. Getting a bear, that's a hard no. Yeah. 
That's a hard no. Yeah, you certainly don't want to do that. Wow, that is amazing. You're right. I've seen videos of people hitting a bear, and the bear's just basically like, when was that? <laughs> you know, like, the fuck? Yeah. Brushes its shoulder off and keeps going, you know? Yeah, 440-pound bear. That's a big-ass animal. Wow. Are you surprised people died when it hit their car? Not at all, because 440 pounds and projectile, you know? Exactly. <laughs> That's that's why I said that's cool. Quite a uh, a missile there, dude. Imagine if we could fire bear missiles. <laughs> this is like taking the salty language bear squad to the next level. It's true, right? Mm-hmm. Man, that'd be terrible, right? You're just like, oh, uh, they're preparing to fire missiles at us, and be like, holy shit, those are bears. <laughs> yeah, it's just like the pod penetrates the building and it opens up and just bears come out. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Like, they'd never see that coming. <laughs> no, they would never Not see a, that no. coming. <laughs> I just, you see the president giving the speech afterwards and, you know, it's just like, yeah, you want to fuck with us? We got, we got fucking bear missiles. Yeah, we got bear <laughs> missiles, motherfucker. Like, holy shit. Yeah. So, yeah. Good fun. Was, uh, some weird, wild stuff. Yeah, it's weird true. news. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it yeah. is. You know, I talk on here a lot about, you know, my love for uh Funko Pops and such. Yeah. Which, first of all, if anyone's listening and you're in the Seattle area, and you're going to the Seattle Mariners game on the 29th, I would be your best pal if you can get me one of the Ken Griffey Jr. Pops. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, now that that's out of the way. Um, so... You know, a few weeks ago, remember when I was talking about how these it's getting nutty, like in stores and stuff with these? And mm-hmm. it very much reminds me of Beanie Babies. Right. Well, <clears throat> from ClickOrlando.com, of course it's from Florida, right? Um, Florida news, baby. You know, I love it. Man follows and attacks a target, a target shoppers to steal Funko Pop figures, deputies say. Because they had an exclusive uh, Twinkie the Kid that was a glow in the dark chase one. They go oh, for like 150 filled. bucks or something. Nah, probably not. Yeah. I mean, it like could be up. if you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this shit's starting to get, starting to happen now. Uh, somehow I'm not surprised because anytime it seems like something gets hot like that, mm-hmm. Motherfuckers get stupid. Right. And people know there's value to these things. So it's, you know, that's why I said it's, it sucks. Right. Exactly. It's, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm really been seeing off and on over the last, <clears throat> I don't know, a couple months probably more and more people that are like, that's it. I'm out. You know, which the thing that pops into my head is the gif of George Costanza where he's like, that's it. <laughs> he just stands up in the boardroom and walks out. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, exactly. I'm done. Or that's it for me. That's what he says. Um, you know, so it's like, man, I like, I hate to see that. Plus it's like, come on, it's a fucking look. Like I understand it, $150, but it's like, it's a fucking toy. Come on. Let's, you know, let's not be savages. Yeah, please. It's the old, can we all just get along type situation? Right. Now I will say this, which was funny. I saw earlier today, someone did a, um, a mock-up of a pop of the guy that attacked the other guy. And then they did a chase, a chase one with him in handcuffs. <laughs> That's pretty classic. <laughs> yeah. I laugh pretty hard at that. Not that, you know, I'm a fan of somebody getting, holy shit. Hold on. Not only did he attack the person, he attacked the person's 64 year old mother too. What a cunt. Wow. Well, I didn't know he was in a handicap match. Right? Dude, a 40 year old man and a 64 year old mother. Were the ones that got attacked. Jeez. Jeez, man. I'm not, like I said, I'm not surprised. It's like, I'm from talking with uh, some of the Target employees, you know, about just how, you know, uh, the one guy was telling us they got an assortment of, um, uh, ad icons. You know, it was like, I think I mentioned it before on here, like Captain Crunch and, you know, other ones along those lines, like cereal right. ones and stuff. Um, <clears throat> and, they sold out and some guy came in and was like, you know, Oh yeah, conveniently you're out. And he's like, I bet you guys stole them all and blah. And it's like, people are being assholes to the clerks because they're accusing them of stealing or not stealing, but 
you know, take, getting them so other people can't. And it's like, well, that, that's always been there. Anytime, you know, anything collectible. Remember we used to go looking for Star Wars for Perry and it was like, you know, the Toys R Us employees like kept some of them in the back. Yeah. Cause it'd be like, Oh, these are all brand new. Funny. None of the hot ones are here. And we're the first How people weird. in the store. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. Right. Um, and don't get me wrong. There are videos and pictures online of target employees, like carrying out to their car, a full display of these things, you know, because yeah, uh, those people are shitheads, purpose. you know? Yeah. But again, there's value. So people are going to do dumb shit like this. If these things were worthless, no one would give a shit, <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> yep. I mean, if it was, uh, you know, whatever those knockoff GI Joes are called in our heyday. Power Rangers? Like action Force or whatever. Oh, right. Yeah, no one action would force. give, like you said, no one would give a shit. No, yeah, no one's attacking you because you've got the Action Force 25 pack. Uh, yeah, you know? exactly. Like, oh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like having uh, store know. brand crayons, you know? I just feel bad. Yeah. It's like no one's stealing your store brand crayons unless it's to throw them away or something or throw them at you, you know? These are all things that could possibly happen. <laughs> right. Oh, shit. Yeah. You know, just... you know, the other side of this though is it, it's, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna like fear that I'm going to be attacked by somebody over whatever, but it's kind of hard. You know, like if you do happen to stumble on one that's like this one, you know, it's a $150 pop, you know, it's like if you know you have a pretty valuable one in your hand or a limited edition one, I could see people being a little scared, you know, that some asshole right. might attack them for it. You know, just, yeah, just fucking sad, man. Right? I know. It's, you know, it's like back when PlayStation, uh, the PlayStation threes came out. I remember that to Toys R Us had cops outside, um, just in case. And, it, you know, and it was par part of it was to make sure there wasn't any sort of like, you know, mob scene, but also is to make sure no one got attacked on the way to their car because they had a, you know, brand new system. Right. You know, that were sold out. So there were no more to be bought, you know, but man, that's, yeah. How silly. I'll What's honestly say I'm surprised I haven't read more of these stories because like I said, right. with beanie babies, I saw a woman shove an old lady for a beanie baby. I mean, you know, because well, was, what are the odds is just cause she was an old lady. Uh, yeah. I mean, that could factor into it, but cause I mean, she just used it as an excuse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like this is the perfect time for me to house this old bitch. Right. It's like, come on, you shoved an old lady. Be like, listen, limited beanie baby. Oh, well, in that case. well, yeah, in that case, never mind, never mind, carry on. He actually shoves her down too. Right. But this is the kind of thing that was around the point when beanie baby started to drop off was shit like this was happening. People were kind of like, eh, you know, and wanting to move away from them because they're hard to get. And then when you do get one, you know, you have assholes like this guy that attacks somebody, you know? Right. So I don't know if you're, if you're like me and you're buying pops, you know, be careful out there. What a bummer. Right. <laughs> like how, how great would you feel too? You're in the store and you're like, holy shit, I got the, you know, the hard to find chase or whatever, you know, and, then asshole. So yeah, and then meanwhile. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. Yeah, Jesus. Like I said, what the fuck is wrong with people? Meanwhile, at the assholes. Ugh. All right. People, people equal shit, man. I know, right? So don't yeah. be don't be savages out there, people. If someone beats you to something, just deal with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Don't be a dick, like right. we said a couple weeks ago. Right. All right. So what else you got? <sighs> I got well, one more I guess, thing. Um, I got probably, and I, I should definitely, I don't live anywhere near North Alabama. You don't? No, okay. believe it or not. Hmm. If we go I, if we go north a little bit, it's similar. But in Madison, Alabama, mm -hmm. they have, you know, they're, we're trying to decide on the, what they're going to call their minor league baseball team. Oh, boy. Yeah. They are the... Rocket City Trash Pandas. <laughs> Do they at least have a good logo? Uh, the logo has not been. They just like oh, I think the okay. voting just happened. Wow, the Trash Pandas, huh? The Rocket City, because apparently Rocket City is a brewery in the area. Mm -hmm. 
or no, Rocket Republic Brewing. That's what it's called. Okay. So, but I mean, I kind of feel like I need a Rocket City, at least Trash Panda shirt. I kind of feel like you do too. Unless it's, yeah. or if it's a great logo, a hat, one or the other, something like yeah, that. A let, nice, let me do a, a nice hoodie might be cool. Hoodie. Mm-hmm. Let me do a little further investigation here to see if maybe there's Man, images. That is, how long do you think before they drop? that name and change it to something else. Like, you know, Tampa Bay was the devil rays for years. And then because assholes were like, eh, it says devil. They didn't want to buy their stuff. I can't support Satanism in right. my sports. So now they're the rays, even though they were named after an animal. Now, yeah, exactly. they're, now it's like, Oh, the sun rays in Florida. <laughs> I don't support the devil rays. I don't eat devil's food cake. <laughs> <laughs> It appears their logo sucks, by the way. No. See, that's like, usually the best part. A lot of these minor league teams that have got weird names, a lot of them have got really cool logos. Like, there's a team called the Hops. And oh, that, they have they literally... Be hops a, and not like we can jump high. No, no. It's it's like a hop with a face on it kind of a thing is their logo. It's it's a good logo. I've been... I keep meaning to buy a, a hat, and I haven't done it yet. <clears throat> I'm down with the hops. That's mm-hmm. all right. Yeah. Their their logo is like, it says Trash Pandas and script, and then the S eventually curves underneath Trash Pandas and turns into a, a raccoon tail. Of course it does. God That damn. is fucking terrible. First, the first graphic idea that popped into my head was that. Because I, I was oh, even thinking, you know. I was like, I bet they use the tail instead of like a lot of teams have where the S or whatever would come down and underline the whole name, you know? Yeah. Very sad. All right. Get your get your uh act together there. Was it Rocket City? Yeah, Rockets well Madison L Madison Alabama, man. Right. Madison Alabama. Are we really gonna have our baseball team named after the fucking varmint, man? I'll shoot these in the field, man. <laughs> That'd be fun well not funny, but you know, these <laughs> random <laughs> Hicks showing up at uh, baseball games trying to shoot the players. <laughs> These things are goddamn nuisance. Go on, get <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trash uh-huh. pan and maul my coon dog. <laughs> Man. People are like, oh, that sounds terrible. He pulls the video out, and it's literally one of the baseball players just beating the shit out of a dog. <laughs> like, whoa, I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> oh, my God. No wonder you're so mad. Yeah. Jesus, I get it. Well, yeah, wow. All right. Oh, Ooh, man. It's all. You know, actually, I, I was just thinking about it. I was like, you know, there are some minor league teams that have cool logos, even if the team name's not great. But then there's also, you know, our Toledo Walleye. <sighs> I hate the logo as much as I hate the team name. Yeah. It's fucking terrible, dude. Yeah, because my favorite logo they've had is when they had Zombie Night and they had the zombie fi- or like the fish that was just like fish bones or something yeah, that like that. Cool. That was cool. Other than that, no, they can all go right to hell. Yeah, I, I hate just piss off right off. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Piss off, piss off. Yep. <clears throat> all right, so I was, you know. A couple times here I've talked about things in infomercials and how much I enjoy watching infomercials, right? Yes. Well, you know, I have a new one here. Uh, Oh. So, um, well, here, I I need to set you up with the the link real quick so you can enjoy this along with me. Um, Please do. There you go. Okay, so the product name is Cozy John's. On their oh, website, okay. it says the sweatpants with cozy, comfortable feet. In the commercial, on on the commercial, they're bragging about how these things are better than a blanket, uh, or how there's no more fighting over a blanket when you both have these stupid pants on, and you they they're they're footied like sweatpants, but you can you can roll the feet up. Or roll the, you know, the bottom part of it up so that it exposes your feet, you know, for when you have to take the trash out or something. Or, right, yeah. Or you want to walk in your flip-flops. The door and not look like an animal. Right. <laughs> so, 
the part I can't get over, first of all, is oh, the fact dude, that... Oh, dude, they call them convertible feet. <laughs> oh, my God, right? So, I, I can't get over the fact that, first of all, I mean, this is a pair of sweatpants. Like, one of the oh. things that they're like, this is better than, is it's like, are you tired of wearing, like, sweatpants and house shoes? It's like, this is the same thing. They're just connected. <laughs> like, it's, yeah, yeah. it's the same idea. <laughs> like... Well, I'll, I will give it one thing. Okay, is that they're Sherpa lined, and that sounds comfy. I'll as give fuck. I'll give you that, but I mean, you oh, know, wait, only the feet are Sherpa yeah, lined. Yeah. I want a Sherpa on my balls. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Cozy Johns. I bet you did. <laughs> well, you just put the foot on your balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that flexible. Uh, well, somebody else wear a pair and then put that foot on your balls. Yeah, now we're talking. nice. Sherpa foot vagina. Oh my. <laughs> but you know, of course they have the, you know, the whole family loves them section. Cause you know, oh, everyone's going to sit around in their fucking cozy oh, johns. Absolutely. They they have cozy hand pockets also. Oh man. Now, so cozy. Let me ask you this. What's up? Why did they have to call them hand pockets? That's an excellent question. What else are you putting in your pocket? I mean, Where even you if you, hook hand? yeah, <laughs> comfy hook hand pockets, yeah, yeah. comfy hook holster. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> what a what a niche market <laughs> to be in. So, like, all right, I want to make sweatpants specifically for pirates. We're, <laughs> we're going on Shark Tank. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to offer you 13% of our company with pirate aim sweatpants. Right. And we need $7.7 7 million. <laughs> if you notice, each leg has a drawstring. It's so you can cinch it around your peg. <laughs> of course. Well, why wouldn't you, right? Mm. It, course, it even has a place that, you know, you don't even have to bother tying your sword around you anymore. Yeah, it's got a convenient sword loop. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. These things, like, when I first saw it, I was like, they're sweatpants. Like, I'm like, why are they trying to push sweatpants Dude, as something more than they're sweatpants? Not sweatpants. They're cozy jobs. <laughs> fucking sweatpants. And, and my favorite part, they're only available in two fucking colors, gray and black. They're sweatpants. Why wouldn't you have an array of colors? That's true. Right? I mean. Those are lazy man sweatpants. I know right? it's because they're new, probably. But it's still, come on. You know? Come on. They're really, they're really dropping the ball, if I'm being honest. And they're 30 bucks, too. I mean, come on. Come on. Come on. 30 bucks plus shipping? Oh, no, free shipping on the first ones. Okay. la dee da la dee frickin da If you want a second pair, it's only nineteen ninety nine more, and you'll still get them for free shipping. Ooh, you don't say. Still, though, I mean, gray and black? I mean, come on now. Did you notice it has a drawstring waistband? I did, yeah. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. For ultimate Great for comfort. all ages, Brian. Is it? All ages. Is it? You're putting a baby in them? Yes, <laughs> yes. My baby's exclusively in Cozy John's. <laughs> nice. I'm going to get some for Mama, you know? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Uh, I mean, honestly, if I came over to somebody's house and the whole family, because this is the whole family loves <laughs> yeah, the right. whole family was in Cozy John's, yeah. I'd be like, these fuckers are in a cult. Yep. We need to get out of here. Yep. It'd be like the, um, oh shit, I forgot what they're called now. The the reverse robes. Oh, the, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Wow. You, you know what's hilarious? Why can't I think of the name of that? Like the Snuggies. There Snuggies. You go. Jesus. Yeah. All right. Are you, are you still on your webpage, Brian? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need you to scroll, scroll, scroll to the, all the way to the top. Oh, the top. Okay. Which yep. if, if you're, uh, if you're playing the home version of saltylanguage.com, go to Salty Language, click the links, go to Cozy John link and wait. Cause at the very top, they have a, a, a stunning two picture slideshow. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. They, they got the, yeah, they have the people sitting on the porch. Have you seen anyone creepier than that fucking dude sitting <laughs> in that rocking chair? Yes. There is a commercial for, you know, those my pillow things? Yes. Okay. 
so, well, they're pillows, whatever. But there's a commercial that's on late, late night all the time. And this guy like opens his medicine cabinet and the look on his face when he's supposed to be realizing that it's, oh my God, it's the my pillow guy is so fucking creepy. <laughs> his eyes are like bugging out and yeah, it's terrible. Like only, only the medicine cabinet or his fucking children in there. Right. I, I mean, I'd freak out if I opened my medicine cabinet and there was some random dude behind it. Well, yeah, accurate. <laughs> Trying to sell me pillows. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> All I know is he uh, just keeps scratching the whole time. <laughs> this, this fucking dirty savage rocker sitting outside of his convertible feet down, mind you. Uh huh. Down. That's extra laundry work, sir. Right. <laughs> I'm not trusting his pants selection. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I don't know why his cleverly placed forearms there. It's hiding that bone. <laughs> well, that's why it's there. I know. That's why his wife, the lady there, got him for him. That's why she's smiling so much. Like, finally. Yeah. She's like, man, finally, somebody that can waggle some dick on this porch. <laughs> it's about time. So... The other picture in this slideshow, which has four sections on it, and it's like, wear your own, wear them your way. Ooh. Three of them are the same. Yeah, I know. Like, there's on <laughs> and there's rolled up. It's like, look, Fox, it has shoes on it, and then here's some awful toes. Right. It's like, unlimited like these, possibilities. <laughs> there's <dude>. two. <laughs> Shit, I clicked on it. I know you're not a feet guy. And not neither am I. Not in the way we're thinking. Right. But look at the length of that one toe. On, oh, the woman on the porch? It looks like a Vienna sausage. <laughs> I think that, it, that, I think the, it like, is. It's like the, the pointer toe or whatever. Pointer toe. <laughs> and it's pointing. Yeah, it sure that is. That thing's ridiculous. Is that a Photoshop gimmick? What's going on there? Oh, man. <laughs> that fuck should be hanging from a tree. <laughs> Can you imagine if it was a Photoshop gimmick? Like some ad, the the graphic designer just decides to elongate a toe and everything. Like, fuck this product. Yeah, no, no, that's their calling card. They elongate a toe and everything they design. Of course they do. <laughs> just one. Just one. Yep. They're doing like yep. a grocery store ad. Be like, why is there a toe on this? Man, that toe is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. All right. So so there you go. Uh, you know with. I'm I'm sure people want to rush to the website and oh and I'm mean so many they're gonna get that salty language bump yeah like why do we sell two extra pairs of cozy <laughs> shorts or whatever the fuck they are right Co- cozy Johns right? why is everyone asking for red like we clearly only have two colors I don't get it man yeah I do uh, hmm? I mean. Bravo to whoever's making money off of these. My, yeah, because my favorite thing is any product that basically, like this, you're taking sweatpants and literally all you're doing is putting shoes on it, you know? Yes. I, yeah. I guess the, the uh, you know, you, the way to look at it would be that, you know, it's like having footy pajamas kind of on, but it's not. So. Right. Especially with no Sherpa lining around the bolts, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, if it said, you know, Sherpa groin area or whatever. <laughs> I'd be right. like, oh, well, maybe, maybe I'm interested right. now. Sh- Sherpa I groin know. area cradles one's one's balls, you know? Yeah, like, exactly. Oh, that sounds exactly. delightful. Yeah. Right. Except like, in the like, summer, then it sounds terrible. Well, yeah, if it was like we have the winter version. Mm-hmm. In the summer, it's got... Sherpa- <laughs> Dude, it's got a convertible thing for the summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you convertible just, dick pouch. Yeah, you just hang dong out the front. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> right. Like the guy on the porch. <laughs> yeah. We'll call him Cozy Snuffs for Snuffleupagus. Oh, I like it. I like it. Right. Nice. We got this market cornered. We're going to do to this company what um, Snuggies did to Slankets. Yeah. Because Slankit was the first on the market, and Snuggie just destroyed him. <laughs> Better marketing. I mean, Slankit just sounds a little dirty. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> like, with the Slankit one, do you just expect someone to be, like, beaten off under it or something? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like, dude, I was at a date with Miranda, and went back to her place, threw the Slankit. <laughs> All of a sudden, there's an uptick in slang it sales for people that are about to fly. You know, <laughs> what's going on under there? 
Nothing. No, actually, you know, oh, I forgot. There's a, um, there's a, a bit on Family Guy where I think they're selling something like that to where it's something to where you can masturbate in it. And someone's like, what's going on under there to Peter? And he's like, you'll never know. <laughs> oh, cause <laughs> it's got like a false arm so that you can have one underneath the. That's the, hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, oh, man. All right. So what else you got? Guns. Uh, well, this is something I, I, I could have done this study myself. Okay. Uh, re- researchers are saying that chocolate chip cookie addiction, mm-hmm. similar to cocaine. <laughs> I totally believe that. Fucking get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I itch for chocolate chip cookies, so I get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I never have the urge to have a chocolate chip cookie until Jeannie makes them. Yeah. And then I have all the cookies. Right. Which makes sense. Well, that's a very short article. It just says, uh, research suggesting that chocolate chip cookies may be actually addicting after all. Oh, 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 the sugar, yeah, because it's a sh- sugar thing. Mm-hmm. Induces the same tra- cravings and triggers as co- as cocaine. As what? Cocaine. As what? Cocaine. <laughs> Damn it, Tony. You're what? doing a cocaine story. What are you not doing right now? Uh, oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Except it's chocolate chip cookies. Right. How do you charge your Yeah. Cookies. I saw that headline. I'm like, yes. Mm-hmm. 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 Cho- yeah, I will. Man, a good chocolate chip cookie. I might I might throw an old lady down the stairs with her stupid Funko that she just bought. <laughs> but I won't get the Funko. I just want the cookie. <laughs> if she bought a Funko and a hot, warm, a hot warm cookie. That's my brand, hot worm. <laughs> she bought a hot worm cookie. I, I, yeah, she is going screening down some stairs. A hot worm cookie. So I can get that hot worm. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Ooh, you know what's funny? This will never be able to track me because mm-hmm. I'll have my Cozy Johns convertible <laughs> down. You're right. No footprints. no footprints. Son like of a, a fucking. Bitch. Like the comfiest ninja you've ever seen. Okay, so here's what we need to do. We need to make the upper body version of Cozy Johns. All right. I, I don't know what we're going to do, but that way, and then we'll be like, you know, goes perfectly with Cozy Johns. It's true. Right? I don't know mm-hmm. what it is. Like, obviously, it'll have, like, mitten hands. Yeah, um, convertible, convertible hands. Actually, better than that. We'll start off with mitten hands, but then we'll extend it to, like, premium ones that are, like, you know, bear paws and shit like that. What well, what did they call the pockets? They had some name for them. What was it again? Hand pockets. Is that what it was? A hand pocket? Yeah. So uh, clearly we need something that's, you know, foot related in the top. I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> or no, it, it could have a hood. Mm-hmm. So it could have a head pocket. Right. <laughs> yes. That's, that's Triple what... line head pocket. Yes. <laughs> Clearly. Perfect. Nailed it. And it's a, and it's a convertible. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> convertible Sherpa lined head pocket. Now the question is, do we make it to where it's one of those hoodies, like where it zips up the, you know, like the Boba Fett one I have, you know, where you zips up and you look, face? Yeah. Like, is it like that convertible or is it just the fact that it's a hoodie? So it's convertible. Uh, I think you have to pay extra for the bush stalker. Okay. You know, add on so you can just hide in the bushes. That's with your, fair. Cozy John's on. Right. It's tough like, to you use a, a camera in the bushes when uh, you have mittens on. So that's why the convertible mittens uh, uh, idea is a great idea. Exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And, see, and since they're already in sweatpants, you know, you can clearly run for police <laughs> a full bone. Right. Well, th- thank God there's a, a drawstring because you can just tie that yeah. bitch up in the waistband. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? It's like breaking a new horse. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about the horse's dick? Yeah, that's oh, how okay. you do it, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah totally. <laughs> you put a I pair mean, of cozy johns, whatever. pair of cozy johns on the horse, and then tie yeah. the dick up in the waistband. Obviously, yeah. obviously, Sherpa line. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I'm just gonna come up a whole clove. I'm gonna be like <laughs> fucking uh, uh, Kanye. With his Yeezy shit, but yeah. all my stuff's gonna be Sherpa line. <laughs> I like it. No, no, not all of it. Just certain parts of the things. Like you'll have pockets that are Sherpa lined. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm just saying every piece of clothing is gonna involve Sherpa right. somehow. Sorry, hand pockets. Yeah. Hand pockets. Or yeah, head pockets. Po- 
it's never a pocket anymore. Right. Or, or it's now a hand pocket. Or a crotch pocket. <laughs> or a crotch pocket. Yeah. You know what that reminds me of? Do you remember you remember like seven thousand years ago when we talked about the um the faceplate for Iron Man's armor, but it was a cod oh, piece? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. It just reminded me of that all of a sudden. Oh, actually, the name of the episode is Butt Flap Cod Piece. That's the name, I believe, That's, is the episode. You are correct. Yep. You are correct. <laughs> <laughs> yep. There That's you go. Back. Yep. There you go. So we we have a crotch pocket or a butt pocket, whatever, you know, for, I'm um, sorry, ass pocket. Ass pocket. Yeah. Which is a little terrifying <laughs> to have a, a convertible bit. ass pocket. <laughs> Vertible ass pocket. Sherp a line, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I prefer a hard top ass pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh god we're fucking idiots <laughs> you don't say our ideas are way better than theirs though uh yeah god damn right they are cozy johns cozy johns oh, fuck. <sighs> all right you got anything else that's all i got no i'm about tapped out there for my uh my dumb shit i found all right well let's move on to the very first Oh shit, son. Dude Mountain update. Do 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 mountain. Do 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 mountain. Do 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 mountain. Mountain. Oh shit, son. Man. Yep. It's Dude Mountain. Yep. You know it's on when you hear the the thunder like that. All something. right. Yeah. Do you have it pulled like up? It? I didn't even think about it. By what? Do you have the list pulled up? What are we, not okay. professional? So here's what I was thinking. In the past, so, we've read, like, all the names, right? Yeah. I'm thinking this year we just do a few of the top ones, and clearly the, you know, Underbroth's, uh, you know, Slurper of the Week. Well, I, I think for the initial, we need to read off the team. Okay, fair enough. And then we'll do the top whatever, and then, yes, the Broth Slurper. Okay. Or whatever we're calling it. Oh, my. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. So I mean, uh, let's 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 start in the broth. Uh, yeah, you know, you got three people tied for sixteenth. Yeah, you, you got the helmets in your end zone. <laughs> it's on the truck, mm. and Barry L. My Barry, wow, Barry <laughs> L. My, <laughs> dude, what is going on with you? Barry L. McCockinner. There you go, Barry N. No, it's Barry N. McCockinner. That would. Looks like an L to me. Oh, yeah, it's probably one of those where an I yeah. is an L, or they just—I don't know, whatever. That, that, that's why I'm like, it wasn't rolling off the tongue properly. If I had a Sherpa, like mouth guard or something, mouth pocket, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's an oral joke, kids. Anyway, move. Jesus moving. Christ, <laughs> mouth pockets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the last thing I need to see when I'm like have Buzz pissing in an awful bar bathroom is like mouth pocket for use and a phone number. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was thinking like dental dams, mouth pockets, you know, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, <sighs> uh, so here you got Gaga James 2. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, you got your Madden 16 picks. Oh. <laughs> hey, they did the same thing I did. We're all tied for 12. Right. <laughs> uh, you got Gothelite Steph. Nice bring, bring for Steph to be here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You got me, the full service chump. <laughs> Uh, House of Picards. These are these next teams are tied for eighth. The mm. House of Picard. It's the underdogs. Doctor Phil Good and Neil Tom Jovi. Yep. Next teams are tied for fifth. Mister Jackal, Fuzzy and Fatty, the USS Mangrave. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking, we just hit the mic. Yep. Uh, tied for third. You have uh, Dits and Dan. Uh, you have. <laughs> This, this has got to be my. This has got to be my wife. It's a beer emoji, a crown emoji, and then elite. Yeah, pretty sure it's beer queen. <laughs> and then you have the number ones, the Besada Geek, and yourself, Brian. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I had for number one spot. Yep. Yeah, I had a. I, it was funny. I had a really strong week until it got to the Sunday night and Monday games, and then I went one for three. But you know, right? Still. Still, or over three, happen. something like that. I don't know, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I gotta say, we have quite the turnout for Dude Mountain this year. I'm a big fan. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, there are a couple of us running. Like, I'm clearly, I've, you know, I'm running a gimmick team. Fine. But still, mm-hmm. the more the merrier. Yep. And, uh, yeah, I, I like your idea of doing, like, you know, 
top five or something mm-hmm. or whatever, top six. Yeah, well, and, it and depends then, on how the ties back. and stuff work out. You know, you could do like all the people like through third place or something like, or fifth place, whatever. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. Whatever. It's only week one. Yep. Exactly. But there, there's your goddamn dude mountain update. Mm hmm. I don't have a closing. Oh, sound I thought you had one. Mountain. Oh, man. In. Man, I, I feel. No. I feel empty now. Um, here's your goddamn dude mountain update. Goddamn rich cunt. Yeah, that'll work. Maybe. That'll work. For I mean, this week. I guess. Here's your goddamn <laughs> dude mountain update. <laughs> All right. Settle that, down. Settle down. Here's your goddamn dude mountain update. <laughs> Maybe. No, no, no. Nickel's not in the league, so, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no Creed yeah. update this week, so. Sorry. Oh, man. Yeah, good fun, though. Um, I actually, I, I was just, I just remembered a little bit ago that I got to do the Madden Sim for tomorrow night's game. Oh, yeah, it's almost Thursday already. Yeah, it is. It's so weird how, with those Thursday games, it really, it, it seems like we're no more done. And then it's like, oh shit, we have to make picks again. I mean, I know there's only a few days between them, but it's, you know. It's, it's kind of annoying. A little bit, yeah. Just bring me weekend football and then Monday. I'm okay with it because I can watch it all, but, you know, I understand. You know what I'm saying, though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. I get it. Whatever. whatever. It, it, if it, you know, I like the fact that there's more football. If there was less, I wouldn't bitch about it either, you know. The upside is at least, you know, it's another set of teams you get to watch instead of having to watch, you know, whatever the local teams are. Right. (sighs) Although the the local teams here actually, well, one of them played in an interesting football game. You know, the Brown Steelers, that was an interesting game. The Lions didn't even show up, so we're just not going to talk about that. (laughs) (laughs) That's fair. Your your team's supposed to be the worst in the division. My team looks like it's the worst in the division by a mile. <laughs> right? At least the Bears got defense. I don't know. You didn't get beat by a cripple. <laughs> yeah, but it's Aaron Rodgers. That's yeah, like I saying, mean, that's like getting beaten up by Superman and being like, well, he had had some, you know, kryptonite poisoning beforehand. Like, doesn't matter. You still got your ass handed to you by Superman. Uh, the only thing that would have made that worse is if he did it in Cozy John's. <laughs> god damn it I'm just saying or if they're like oh god Aaron Rodgers is knocked out of the game next thing you know Brett Favre's jumping down from the stands suiting up and you're like ah come on thought we were rid of this asshole like damn it he oh puts down his tray of popcorn right for anyone get me in the game coach for anyone new to the sh- yeah he's like I'm still ready um like, are you he's like maybe I'll unretire like stop it Brett uh, for those who don't know, just, just, just give me the Cracker Jacks. Right. Thank you. <laughs> for those who don't know, Tony and I are not Packers fans. So. No, 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 no. That's why we were watching the game, the uh, Packers Bears game. You know, my mom's like, "Who, uh, who do you want to win?" I was like, "Is there some way both teams can lose?" That's what I want. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm praying for an asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> then when Aaron Rodgers went out, I was like, "Well, I guess I, I kind of might get my, my." prayer but no I'm kidding I don't wish for guys to get hurt like that or anything but still much yeah a little bit fuck the Packers though always mm-hmm. bunch of cozy John wearing anyway it's time for the Q of the W oh shit son mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so last week we had two but yeah, right? did we get any answers for the first one uh, I got a couple on face page. Okay, because I, I have zero on Twitter. So, what you well, got? it is Wednesday. Yeah. Which, if, you know, if people do answer us later in the week, we're going to read them off. Maybe. Yeah. No. Later in the week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because we do have to determine what's the best answer for the number one, what's a wet floor. Right. Yeah. So, for the number one, what's a wet floor, I have Jeff from Hobie. He says there shouldn't be one. Which I disagree, Jeff. Totally. Yeah. I disagree. I disagree too. Yeah. It's just waiting. Uh, to but De- Dev, he says it's a sexual ACR performed in a non carpeted room with either a known squirter or a male partner for weak bladder. 
The object is to get your partner to soak the floor to the point that a mop and bucket are required to hide the evidence. Wow. Best done in a public restroom that has a caution wet floor teepee tubes next to the door so you can let the next occupant know that work was done in there. Tim, Dave, how was date night with Kim? Dave, I wet floored that bitch. The KFC will never be the same. Wow. Wow, really? Not a Burger King bathroom, huh? Not a Burger King bathroom. Did not get busy there. Wow. And and then uh That's a then, very, uh, very thorough answer, Dev. <laughs> very thorough answer. I like it. And then uh Michelle, she says wet floor equals a woman who is aroused. Mm-hmm. Example, I got a wet floor after watching that new fifty shades of gray movie. See, that's what I was that's what I was thinking, you know, it just seems like something that fits right there. Right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, the other question we had was, if you had to eat people, <laughs> what would that dip in sauce be, son? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Jeff, he says, Wendy's sauce sauce. Oh, okay. I haven't had See that, but I know there? what he's talking about. Yeah. And uh, our, buddy, our buddy Dev, he says, I would either go with Sweet Baby Ray's, regular barbecue, or A1. Why would you even have A1 around, though? I know. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, it must be a bad cut of human. Oh man. So, so if you're if you had to eat human and they offered you the bone marrow, are you in? A little some toast points with it. Well, yeah, bone marrow is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's it's too. I can't. I can't do it. It's it's the jelly or the gel like uh, the, you know the consistency. Yeah, it's. Taste wise, it was interesting. It really does like just melt. Yeah, you know that, that was nuts. But yeah, no. and, and Michelle says honey mustard sauce to eat humans with. Okay, fair enough. Always strong honey mustard. It's, yeah, it's a good choice. Yeah, yeah. but that's, that's what we have uh, so far. All right. Well, so far, uh, I have an email from Cheeto Bandito. He didn't answer the wet floor one, so you know it's wow. all right. Damn it, Cheeto. I really wanted to hear what his was. Yeah. Maybe he's, like, working on it. He's got a whiteboard. <laughs> yeah. He's trying, to, he's trying to figure out the best method of the wet floor. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, he's like the scene in, um, um, fuck, Silicon Valley, where they're figuring out the trajectory. <laughs> right. Um, he says, what dipping sauce would I want if I had to eat another human? A Korean barbecue sauce. We're long pig, you know. This is damn. I'm typing this as Tony's talking about cannibals calling people long pigs. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Here's here's my favorite part. So Google now puts at the bottom of emails. They put suggestions. You know, it's kind of like predictive text is what it is right. basically, right? So the three that pop up here are ha ha. That's awesome. Sounds yummy and yum. Hmm. <laughs> sounds yummy. Seems ideal. I. Or is I, it yum with two m's? No, it's just one. Here's the thing, though. Oh, fuck is, that, yeah. I think this is this may be you know something pointing towards Skynet taking over or the robots rising up. Mm, damn robots! They're planning on eating humans, Tony. That's what I'm saying. It's true. It's true. I don't know how I feel about that. Now, with Korean barbecue sauce, mm-hmm. are you eating a Korean? He'll have to answer that. I don't I know. know. I'm just curious. Mm-hmm. He might be. I don't know. Or is that just like too much flavor? <laughs> it might be. I don't. I don't know. It's a good call though. Korean barbecue sauce, is pretty good. I mean, I'm sure there's different ones, but you know, the one or two I've had were really good. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I can't argue with that. Uh, interesting, you know. No, nobody tried to say I can't. You know, I'm not interested in that. I'm a I'm a dry rub kind of person. But you know, <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> I never even thought of that. <laughs> not one of us was, you know, hey, dry rub. But it's all right. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, uh, that's pretty funny. Yeah, <laughs> it's <Nice> dry rub. <laughs> right? Kind of just like a dust. Yeah, really. Yikes. All right. Uh, that's, yeah. So that's, that's all we got from those. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's, it's, we're not recording on a normal day. I get it. True. True. All right. So for this week, you have numbers one through 21. Oh, well, I gotta go 21. All right. 
just the iconic age for you know people to go like holy clay trick the boys. That's true. It is. Can you? Okay, so this one is less funny. You know, it's just one I thought was interesting though. When they invented sliced bread, it was the best invention since what exactly? Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Mm hmm. Because you're right. Everyone's like, oh, it's sliced bread. <laughs> sliced bread isn't all this crowd cracked up to be, though. I'm just going to let you guys know. No, because with sliced bread came the, you know, quick manufacturing of bread and, you know. Exactly. I want yuckies. some real bread that mm -hmm. I slice myself. Yeah. Maybe I want a piece of toast that's three inches thick. Maybe. Fuck you, pre-sliced bread. <laughs> some sugar bread, you know. Yeah, exactly. What if I want a sugar tower? Yep. I just cut it. Yeah, I just cut the damn thing in half and just make a sandwich out of it. It's like it's Subway. Exactly. <laughs> what if I want to cram a baguette into my Cozy Johns? Whoa. Whoa. Careful Can there. Can you do that with sliced bread? <laughs> it doesn't have a sliced bread pocket. <laughs> You're right. It doesn't. It just has a hand pocket. So when sliced bread come out, what were people praising? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. For sliced bread. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to have to go with something like, man, this is a hard one. Yeah. Pro yeah, Jesus. Okay, so sliced bread was first sold, according to Wikipedia, at, in 1928. Speaking of, Dev, if you're listening... I want a, uh, did, have they done a shot of history on sliced bread? <laughs> <laughs> that would be, that's, Brian, that's what we need to do. Right. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. So yeah, 1928 is when that was, uh, brought the out. The roaring twenties. Yeah. So. I mean, things got nutty. People were dancing, drinking, mm -hmm. sliced well, bread. That's bread. what happens when you, you put sliced bread out there. You know? What the fuck? What is wrong with these kids these days? Exactly. Oh, jeez. Next thing you know, ladies are going to be voting. <laughs> At least you said ladies. You didn't say dames or broads or something. <laughs> right. You know? <laughs> Which is where I figured you were going to go with that. <laughs> um, well, probably, uh, you know... It's it's gonna be something dopey like fire. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I mean, that's a good answer. It's hard to argue with fire. Yeah, I have no idea. Well, I just... I, no, I mean it. It really is though. I mean, you think about yeah. the applications. Even originally, it was whatever, but you know, it's you know provides warmth and it, we can cook. So it altered food at that point. You know, so I mean, there's you know. I'm just trying to put myself in the mindset of someone that grew up in that time when they got a loaf of sliced bread and they're like, what the fuck? You <laughs> right? Know? Yeah. You, you open the bag and you're just like, you know, just like, this isn't all one. This must be defective or something. Maud, it's pre sliced. <laughs> this is the greatest invention yeah. since Chinese railroad workers. Yep. She's like, now I got time for more cigarettes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> This is the greatest adventuring since heroin cream. Ooh. Nice. Or whatever they called it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dr. Pixie's, you know, miracle tonic. It's cocaine and heroin. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something we'd be selling. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is the, this is the, you know, the guy's wife. This is the greatest invention since they cured my hysteria. <laughs> If you all know what I'm talking about, congratulations. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Yep. It's funny because my answer to this would be very similar to how, how you went, basically. You know, you went with fire. Um, I was thinking the wheel because, you know, it, it helped us, you know, move around and stuff. But I don't know. Because, you know, I, the problem here is that you need – it's tough to know when everything came out, you know, so it's yeah. trying to think of what was out before that. So I'm just thinking of ridiculous things. Yeah. Cause I'm sure it's something along that or I don't know the steam engine or some bullshit, you know, I don't know, whatever. Um, I don't even know when the steam engine came out. I don't remember. I should, but I don't cause America. Right. So yeah, this is the greatest invention since the repeating rifle helped eradicate the Indians. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, the repeating rifle. Yeah, that's 
Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think for me, it's just, it would be the wheel. It's, I know it's a boring answer, but it's, that's probably what it is. Cause it's hard to argue against either of those things. The wheel in the sky keeps on turning. <sighs> Damn it. Tony. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, man. <laughs> it's not the sliced bread in the sky keeps on turning. Might be. That'd be a sick ass song. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, that's you know, there you go. You could have went with chocolate chip cookies, maybe. Dude. <laughs> there's been no greater invention. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I shit on sliced bread when it comes to chocolate chip cookies. That's a weird thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach it. <laughs> you wipe with the bread before you use the ass hose, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, man. It's like a sink sponge, but mm-hmm. a slice of bread. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I was I was just, um, for curiosity, I, w- I just typed in, you know, what was the best thing before sliced bread into the internets to see what would come out. And uh, one person said sex. I mean, it's, it's hard to argue against that. But I mean, this is true. I but, feel like it goes about around, uh, way before, but. Yeah. Ass buggering. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. God damn it, Angus. Like, wow, that was, yeah, well, all right. That was an aggressive answer. <laughs> like, it sure were. Oh, man. All right. So. Wow, we were fighting in the trenches. We were lonely. <laughs> like, oh, wow. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> At any time, they could have dropped mustard gas on us. Right? Oh, jeez. Fucking mustard gas. It's ter- right. terrible stuff. You put a schmeared out on some sliced bread, a little, <laughs> I don't, little corned beef. I don't, mm. I don't know if that's the right idea. What? Mm, I'm no. assuming it's yellow mustard gas. Jeez. <laughs> oh, what color mustard do you want? Or what, <laughs> exactly. what mustard do you want? Yellow. Yeah. Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Uh, I doubt that I'll ever forget that. Oh, man. <laughs> Ooh. Well, yeah. there you go. Oh, you know what? Here, Here's something. Like, uh, I don't know. You can go ahead. I'm going to just ramble to myself. What do we? What? I could just keep going about, about what was better than sliced bread. <laughs> yeah, please do. <laughs> I don't know. I have a feeling it's going to get real bad real quick. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just uh I don't know. I I uh, I'm going to stick with the fact that it, you know slice bread can fuck off. Mm. I I understand the convenience factor. Yeah. But even when we would buy like a fresh loaf of bread from our local store and we're like you want us to run a little slicer? First off, grandma, uh, get your clammy hands off my loaf. <laughs> right. Second off, I don't know what else you've ran through that slicer. I don't want no cross contamination for my delicious rye. Yeah, there is that. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, because it it's not a separate piece of machinery for sure. Because if I work at a two bit grocery store, I'm running donuts through the slicer. I'm getting crazy. I'm putting everything through there so everything. that I can waffle Box it cereal. later. <laughs> Box cereal. <laughs> see what happens. Yeah, I was so that you could waffle things, but I like I like the way you're thinking. Just yeah, everything right. goes through it. Yeah. Like a freshly corned beef right through the slicer. Naturally, right. Yeah. Well, you got all that, you know, yellow mustard gas. You got to do something with it. Exactly. So, now, we're, now you know where I'm coming from. I'm yeah. just trying to make a real-ass trench Reuben. <laughs> oh, God. Trench Reuben sounds like a terrible thing. That sounds yeah, like a sex act. a trench Reuben. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound terrible. Oh, my. In your testicles. Uh, look like corned beef and cabbage. Oh, jeez, that that's no good, right there. That is no good. Not good. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully they can vaccinate against that. <laughs> I hope so. Yikes! You get your trench Reuben shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, Either that, or it's just a guy named Reuben that's losing the trenches. That's a little weird, but yeah. yeah right. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's like he's like the dude from the three hundred. It was all deformed. <laughs> oh. oh, God, here comes Trent Rubin. Right? Oh, man. I want to fight. <laughs> like, didn't we throw you off a mountain? Get the fuck out of here. 
his pictures up in like all the brothels. <laughs> you know, do not. <laughs> yeah, do not make eye contact with Trench Rubin. <laughs> <laughs> and I know he's got that one big eye. Yeah. Don't look at <laughs> don't it. Don't look at it. Yeah. Whatever you do. Oh, shit. <sighs> and don't stare at his one big ball either. <laughs> exactly. I know he leaves it out. It's crazy. It won't we fit. We tried to give him a sh- chirp about. <laughs> it's a really big goiter at this point, you know? Exactly. Oh. He calls his reproductive goiter. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> So I, I have one other thing that could be the answer to this, if we're going serious here. Are we, though? <laughs> and that's indoor plumbing. Well, I mean, I guess that's pretty legit. Cause but that indoor plumbing is not conducive to the assos. <laughs> you're right. Damn I'm it. just saying. Damn it, you're right. Oh, man. There's a flaw, right? Damn it. <laughs> wait, wait. What if I bring the assholes inside? <laughs> oh, oh, I got you. Fully tiled bathroom, mm-hmm. infinity drink. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With wide grating so you can <laughs> waffle shit down into it. <laughs> oh, man. We're back to waffling things, man. I don't want that kind of waffle. No. That's a terrible waffle. That is a terrible waffle. Yeah. That. Ooh. Boy. Yep. I thought you catch the flu. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. if Trench Rubin's been over. Yeah, exactly. You're going to get ringworm, all kinds of stuff. Right? You come home, he's in your hot tub, just, you know, just pulling his buttocks apart right in front of the, the jet on the hot tub. That's how you throw a hot tub away. <laughs> yeah. You can just walk over with your blowtorch and just set it on fire. <laughs> yeah. Him in it. <laughs> it's, it's oh, wait, no. Way to do it. No, you can't burn it with him in it. Otherwise, you'd... Well, I guess they could. They used to burn bodies during the plague, so why not, right? It seems probably to be the best choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You certainly don't want to give them a Viking funeral. You don't want them contaminating the water. Uh, Yeah, exactly. You don't want to waste arrows. Also that, yeah. Yeah, fuck that guy. (laughs) Waste arrows. (laughs) You you got paper wrapped around a rock. You set it on fire and throw it. (laughs) Yeah, like, damn it, we missed. Give me our rock. Yeah. So we're running out of rocks. <laughs> he lights his servant on fire and throws it. That seems more accurate. Right. Probably. Ooh. All right. Well, there you go. So the Q of the W again is, um, you know, what what was the best thing before sliced bread? I'm pretty sure I'm changing my answer to Trench Rubin. <laughs> Guy seems incredible. <laughs> Oh, uh, he he was a national treasure. Remember that that Trench Rubin movie where he fell in love with a blind girl and then she eventually felt that big eye on his face? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's tragic. Oh man. Yeah. Hmm. The real question is why does he have so many sandwiches named after him? I I don't know. Hmm. It's a good question because he's an entrepreneur. Dev, we need to know the history of a Rubin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's going to give him the most mundane topics to look up. Yeah, exactly. Well, I want a whole block of shot of history. It's all deli related. <laughs> yes, a sandwich yeah. of episodes, if you will. Yeah. Yes, exactly. It'd be called sandwich of history. Yes. And instead of doing drinking, they just eat a sandwich. Or, well, I mean, there's no reason to not drink. Well, yeah, I'm just saying. Okay. Just yeah. Saying. Seriously. And it'll all crescendo with the fifth episode, the party sub. Wait. Is that a, never mind. Are you trying to get Stephanie involved in something? No, well, I mean, I'm, <laughs> listen, whatever happens is between them, you know. So, no. Whatever happens in Podcast Detroit stays at Podcast right. Detroit. <laughs> oh, uh, and I got her at the old party sub. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my fucking thing. I don't know. <laughs> That's fine. All right. oh! <laughs> there it is. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, we should wrap up. We're over anyway. So uh, I guess at this point, uh, we'll say, hey, you know, head over to saltylanguage.com. Like Tony said earlier, there's links there. Um, previous episodes are there. Um, <clears throat> there's all the ways to contact us on there via social medias and whatnot. Uh, if you're going to be shopping on Amazon, please be, uh, swing by our site first, click the banner, and it'll send you right over there, and you just shop away as normal. doesn't cost you anything extra, and they don't send us anything saying what you bought or anything along those lines. Um, yeah. 
Um, <clears throat> while you're on our website also, uh, you can see the networks we're part of. Like the Tangent Bound Network. And... Danger! Watch your back! Danger! Entertainment. Nice. Nice. Yep. Uh, if you'd like to help the show out, we'd greatly appreciate it if uh, whatever... However you get your, your podcast, if you would rate, review, and subscribe, if you have not already, you know, again, we love those five-star ball washes over on Dude, iTunes. The fivest of starest. <laughs> the ballsiest of washes. So much washing. Yeah. I know. I know. We got to be have clean five-star ball wash to grace inside of our Sherpa pouch. <laughs> it's true. You don't want to put a yeah. dirty sack inside that. That's terrible. No. Oh, it's so rude to the Sherpa fur. Right? Yeah, exactly. Um, I know a sh- Sherpa is someone that guides people up a mountain. Why is it Sherpa lined? Are we killing people? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Obviously. And we're using their, their fluffy coats to make yeah. other things. Excellent. Mm hmm. No, uh, okay. I'm fine with this. Okay. Well, good. Okay. As long as I, you're. Yeah. You need a sort of Sherpa farm. Hmm. That's a good point. We should. Mm-hmm. Well, we, I mean, we we just call the hobos Sherpas. I mean. That's true. Mm-hmm. Just add an extra P or an extra A or something in it. Sherpas. Yeah, exactly. Trademark yeah. the shit out of it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You know it. <clears throat> uh, let's see. What else is there on the website? I feel like there's something I'm forgetting. Oh, or if uh, you'd like to help the show out, please uh, retweet our tweets or share our Facebook posts or whatever with your friends. And say, hey, go listen to these guys or something. Yeah, they're funny sometimes. Yeah. Once in a while, it's, they, it happens. They, t- they talk about eating people and fucking deformed people running around trenches. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Pirate pants. Right. I, Book it, pouches. Our, our podcast should be t- used in schools. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, here's what's going to happen to you if you don't get a good education. <laughs> yep, exactly. You're going to be talking about some dude hanging dong on his porch. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, man. <clears throat> if you want to reach out to the show, or if you still want to join Dude Mountain, uh, again, it's still early, so, you know, you can still jump in and potentially, you know, not be too far behind. Probably be me. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> um, you can email us at salty or saltylanguage at gmail.com. Uh, you can reach us on Twitter at salty underscore language. You can reach me on there at Stunami. Uh, you can reach me at Monotony. Or you can hit me up on the old Snapchat, Salt Down Scroll Language, which if you are a follower, you got to see me talk to my wife, and I found a send it directly to her, but I put it on my story. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be gone by the time you hear this, though. Very exclusive. Yeah. I guess you should be a follower. Right. I'm sure it was saucy, so. Yeah, I was laying nude in bed, but there's no nudity. Yeah, I didn't have the sound on on my phone, and I was afraid to turn it on. So I was just, I was just like, hey, honey, I'm so tired. Right. I have just thought night. I thought you just sent that to me, Tony. I, I was oh, feeling sorry. special until now. I was telling everybody, hey, hon. Right. <laughs> Such a whore. <laughs> no, I don't know if I actually even sent that to her now, in hindsight. Oh, that's funny. I was so tired. Right. Because I, you know, breaking the wall here, because since she doesn't have Wi-Fi, all these snaps she'll get when she gets Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't think so about I've that. So I've been sending her stuff. <laughs> yeah, she's been gone. I, like, I can't wait for her. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. I know, right? <laughs> what a shit show that's going to be. Yeah. That's um, oh, man. Uh, you can reach me on Snapchat at uh, Ninjitsu if you'd like. There you go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You wanna you wanna give the voicemail line? Oh boy, do I! Are you doing that? Hey, give uh, us a call, guys. Four one five three four five zero six five nine. Have you ever wanted to hear your voice on the Salty Language Podcast? Mm-hmm. I have. You well, good thing you're a co-host. <laughs> Sweet. Wait. Sweet. If I call in, hashtag more Brian. Hashtag more Brian. You really? should do that. That'd be funny. Like an Inception thing. Bryception. Yeah. And I can't see. Inception noise. Um, 
so yeah, give us a call. You know, just if you want to shoot some shit, if you want to answer a Q to W on a voicemail, whatever, we'll play your voicemail on the air. Mm-hmm. It's fun because generally we don't pre-listen to that. Right. Or if you have a Q of the W for us, you can also just ask it on there. Yeah, and we will answer you, like almost live. Sure. Shit, be crazy, son. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It'll be almost just like talking to us, except without exactly. all the electricity in the air and the the sensual uh, vibe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What Brian's saying is, it's like talking to us with way less sex. Yes, yes, that is what unless I'm you're wearing a sex mask. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, and who isn't? No. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Available at fine retailers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure our sex masks should kind of look like Darth Maul. Mm -hmm. But just instead of horns, it's dildos. (laughs) So you literally use the mask for the sex? Yeah. Like you're not having sex with the mask. You're just, you know, well, I guess you are. Just like vicious headbutts, but sensual. So much pleasure. Yeah. So much pleasure. The ladies love it when you (laughs) headbutt the clit. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Like with me, I can't do that because it's like hitting a, you know, picture a Gallagher thing. You know, it's just. Watermelon and sledgehammer, you know. It's true. It's yeah. just, it, it, yeah. I can't. It's a good point, though. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's like you know, in, in every fighting movie, when they grab the dude's shoulders and then drive their head, like forehead, right in their nose. Yeah. It's like that, but you grab, grab hips, right? And just good douche right into the clip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that'll work, guys. Yeah, please try it and uh, get back to us with how it worked out yeah. for you. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> also, I, you know. I kind of want to know what that move's called now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. That's a good question. All right. I don't know. Hmm. All <laughs> right. So, yeah, that's all the all the socials and uh, all the things. So, yeah, I guess until next time, uh, have a beer. You'll be fine. Uh, stay sexy, people. Oh, stay sexy, you say. Buy a sex mask. <laughs> Uh, and remember to get your uh, trench Reuben shot because, listen, we don't need an epidemic of that. Is it a vaccine or is it a delicious drink? It could be both. I could take a round of trench Reubens. Yeah, exactly. And when, once you drink it, you're immune to whatever trench Reuben has. Well, Average, yeah. at the time. That's I mean, everything. clearly, you know, it's like chasing a hacker. You know, he's always going to be one step ahead. But, That's you know. true. All you yeah, can do I'll, is your best, you know. <laughs> evolve, adapt, overcome. Right. Yeah. <laughs>